access granted. I'll munch on your pepperoni and cheese in a minute, sir. How you doing, Scotty? <laughs> mm. How's, um, how's it going, Scotty? You're, uh, the keto. Been a while now. Have you, um, you feeling the benefit? Uh, I know it's definitely an adjustment period. And you can definitely, um, you know, for most people, it's just, like, kind of too radical to change their diet up to that degree. Uh... But you, I feel like once you, uh, after the, the adjustment period, you kind of get used to it. Uh, and I feel that, you know, it takes a lot less um, mass and calories of, uh, like, protein and fat to, like, fill you up to get you satisfied. Whereas the carbs, you can just, like, stuff carb and, carbs and sugar in your face all day long and you'd never feel satisfied. You know, obviously, t you know, your, your taste buds are satisfied. That's what, <laughs> you, you know. The actual extent of it. Yo, Jack! How you doing, bro? <clears throat> yeah, dirty keto. That's fine. Yeah, and if uh, and how have you? Uh, how much weight have you lost over the past year, then, Sky? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I hope it's going well. It's got to stick with it, and then um, you know, it's a, it's a it's a grind. You know, most people don't want to embrace. You know, the term embrace the grind. It depends what we're talking about, but sometimes if you want results, that's what you have to do. And it takes a certain mindset to be able to do that. Not everybody can do that. Um, you know, and that's there's no judgment. We're all built differently. Some people have uh, different, you know, like just like people are, some people are physically stronger than other people. Some people are mentally stronger than other people. Um, spiritually stronger than other people. Um, so, I hope it's going well. So, um, I'm very well, Jack. Yeah, I'm not bad. Not bad at all. I'm having a good Thursday, bro. Uh, any, uh, have you, have you started KFC yet? Um, yeah, we completed Resident Evil Village yesterday. But we, uh, which was a lot of fun. I got, it, I do feel the story got a little bit wacky in towards the end. Poison did mention that. Poison was like, my friend thinks the story is not very good. And I was like, ah, oh, your, your, your friend's silly. And then we got to the end of this, this game and I was like, oh, actually... <laughs> Excellent game, such a good game, but um, the story is a bit wacky. Um, Affeline. um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I, you know, I'll challenge you to an arm wrestle, Aff, but it might be a draw, so we might have to do a, a, a wrestle, and that might be a draw, and then we'll have to just you know see what see what happens from that point on. Red Mage, how you doing, bro? Are you well? Um, yeah, I um, I'm not like super intelligent, um. But I'm not an idiot. I don't know what my IQ is. So it's, um, and that's not always a good indicator. I think when he tested it at school, it was like in the 120s, which is pretty decent. Um, but not, I'm not winning any competitions, you know. Um, I'm definitely not a genius, but um, I feel like in terms of my will, I'm pretty, you know, sometimes, maybe it's even a detriment to me sometimes. I feel I'm fairly strong in that regard. And I don't, where in the past I feel I was fairly, like, pretty spiritually weak, I've um, come back from that. Now my body needs to be stronger. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to maintain. But, um, you know, all round, I'm, my, 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 
average stats are, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Let's put it that way. No weaknesses. You know. Some people say it's better to be like a glass cannon. Or the opposite. That's to say, you know, have one real strong stat and then you've got some weaknesses. Nah. Nah. Um, uh, you know, Red Mage knows. Jack of all trades. Not an expert in anything, but yeah, try and find that weakness. Hey, you're not going to find it. I'm going to outmaneuver you. Um, yeah, exactly. Every day, yeah, because, you know, how you know, even, you know, know, how are we going to determine the winner? Um, otherwise, AF, yeah. Um, <laughs> you're over 9,000, are you, Red Mage? Excellent, sir. I'm pleased to hear that. Um, and just to prove it, just to prove the fact, um, well, you know, we're just Red Mage is like, yeah, just I need, I know is, but I need you to tell everybody else here that I, Red Mage, am over nine thousand. Uh, he's on top of you again. Look at you two rolling around. <laughs> he can't help himself, Af. I mean, you know, I'll. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, nobody can blame him. Nobody here is like surprised about that. Um, excellent. There you go, Red Mage. Thirty third flex. Damn, you know what? You you you're creeping up on Slick Mick in fourth position, bro. Um, you've got Affaline sandwich going on here. <laughs> I mean, worst sandwiches to be in. Root, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> it's not my fault, Root. <laughs> yeah, call the HR department. That is me. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, sorry, I'll just check it out. I'll just show what he said here. Um, damn, so you almost did two years. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously COVID, the pandemic kicked off, and that kind of screwed everything up. Damn, yeah, Scott, that's amazing. Oh, that's what? It's over 120 pounds. Then you gave up. But you didn't even go back up to your full weight before then. Damn, yeah, good on you, Scotty. So you're, so you're six pounds away from uh, your previous uh, high score from the first time. Well, there you go, bro. You keep going. Anything I can do. Um, but yeah, good, good on you. It's, um... It's, you know, it's all relative, and it's all baby steps. You just have to keep it going. Um, just don't give up on yourself. Other people will give up on you. Um, never give up on yourself. Don't don't let you know haters and idiots and you know other weak people influence you. You, you know you gotta have your own back, folks. You gotta you gotta be your own hero in this life, because nobody's coming to save you. Which sounds, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to be <laughs> depressive or tragic here. But, you know, we all have the potential to be our own superhero or our own worst enemy. Um, and depending on how you choose to engage in life, you know, you, you, you know, obviously random shit happens. Bad shit randomly happens to good people. This is true. We can't deny that fact. But, um more i feel a lot more of your own existence you have more control than you think you do within your own sphere of reality um uh <laughs> yes no we'll have none of that yeah well you, you say i'm not your dad how do you know i'm not a time traveler scotty and i'm actually your dad i don't think i am i, I don't know. If, if i were time traveling i you know hooked up with your mum. um can i sit here uh, Yogitos, thank you for the follow. You can. Have you stopped in, my friend, because you are looking for some Resident Evil Village action? Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome in. We will be getting that shortly. Uh, we have a bit of a just chatting section at the start of the stream. Um, this is determined by how long these guys keep me talking. Um, we did just complete the main game yesterday, first playthrough. Uh, amazing game. We are going to be playing the DLC when we get start today. I don't know anything about it or how long long it is. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, um, I'm Atheline's daddy. Not that kind of daddy. No, I mean, uh, I feel like Atheline would... Uh, 
don't know. She probably uh, take control, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> well, who knows? I'm I'm flexible in yeah, every sense of the word. Rel relatively, yeah. Flexibility. My God, was it Red Maid? He showed that. Um, I don't. She's got a world record. Some young girl who's like apparently the most flexible person in the world. And I was like, oh damn. Okay, I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that flexible. But I'm, you know. Got to, got to try and stre stretch it out. Yeah, she, crazy how good she was, you know. She can, like, throw a leg up, like, oh, standing just, like, str directly up and then back around the other. He's, she can basically do any anything she wants. She can press herself right up. Um, and good on her, you know. Range of motion is most important. Um, but maybe I'm more flexible than the average person. I don't know. Um, but... Uh, yeah, what what uh what else do I need to mention? Um <clears throat> Yeah, I mean respect to her. Yeah, she was kind of like able to kind of laid flat down on her belly slash chest with her like uh, bridging with her head up, but then have her legs curled all the way around so her the soles of her feet like on e in front of her shoulders like touching the floor so she's like whoosh, curled all the way around and like whoa good on ya um i don't know i don't know you'd have to look up the video i think uh i can't remember where red major posted it um maybe she seemed very healthy but who knows she was also very young so who knows if there's uh some issue she will have to deal with in the future I don't know. Um, look at this, Lawsy. Lawsy. Every he's a he's a little ledger's Lawsy. Always liking and retweeting my silly automated tweets. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I need those anymore. I, I feel that I guess I should just leave them. I don't know. Sorry, just having a little look at stuff there. I'm to see if there's anything interesting popping on Twitter. That it's not. I try and stay away from like craziness. Um, <clears throat> damn, Af that's 35. That's it. It's over. It's over and done with. <laughs> this is nothing. Uh, nothing to be done. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it's good to maintain some kind of flexibility, guys. I uh, always start my workout with that. Just uh, a little, uh, little bit of you know stretching out yoga. Uh, you know, hold the downwards dog for a little bit. Um, you know, try. You know, I can't do the splits, but or anywhere near. But you know, just uh, sit on the floor, spread your legs wide. Um. Preferably more than 90 degrees if you can manage it. Uh, and then bring your face and your chest down to the floor. As much as you can. Um, so that'll, that'll stretch out a little bit. Um, yeah, 35. God, those were the days, Red Mage. <laughs> um, wow, okay, that's incredible. Uh, Sky. I mean, it's technically a talent, but it's like, aside from the showmanship novelty of it, there's nothing you can do with that talent, really. That's the only, uh, that's only slight concern. You, oh, you can do this awesome, really cool thing. Good on you. What? What are you going to do with that? I don't know. Well, I respect it. It's because I just don't have any talents. I'm jealous. So that's 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 real reason. But thank you all for being here, guys. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a good Thursday so far. Um. X, when can you? We'll get on it, Af. Um. Yeah. Good point, Root. Um. Yeah, the purpose of a talent like that is to appear on talent shows. To show you that you have a talent like that. To appear on talent shows. To show you that you have a talent like that. And it's... 
and then I guess you probably like you know get some small measure of fame, uh, maybe some kind of sponsorships and stuff, and people are like ooh ah, uh, you know I guess and why not you know if I had a talent like that, I'd be showing off as well. Um, right, yeah. So she's got this re really cool thing she can do. But that's the only thing she can do. She's like, okay, so she forms a crazy pose, fires a, a bow and arrow with her feet at target with accuracy. Oh, amazing. Cool. Good on you. What's what next? Oh, you gonna oh you do, do it again. Okay, shot another arrow. Oh. Uh you gonna shot another arrow. Oh, is there <laughs> Is there anything else? No. Okay. Very cool. Uh you get into the added to the cool list awesomeness list but um it's very it's very niche <laughs> it's hard to put that onto anything else um useless star trek knowledge no uh not useless scotty i mean you can determine it's useless it's not going to help in a survival situation um but in a uh you know geek uh fandom uh sense that's it's very useful um I do have a, a, a GURPS uh, Star Trek book, actually. I've not read it yet. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder it could be quite fun. Run a Star Trek uh, RPG. Potentially. Not not my first thought. Uh, and I feel like trying to put yourself within the very specific bounds of that, it could be um, shockingly limiting. Shocking, you know, not shockingly limiting, but in, shockingly in the sense that uh, you would not expect a Star Trek setting to have any bounds. But I feel it kind of does in a way. Um, but still, it could be fun. Um, yeah, so that's the thing, Root. You, if you've got this cool thing you do, you have to escalate. That's why I, I'm, I like streaming. I can just turn up every day and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm good at doing the same thing. I'm good at consistency. I'm good at grinding it out. I can I can keep going when everyone else is like, oh, I'm tired. I'm, I'm falling to the wayside. You know, if I had to uh, be more intelligent each stream, if I had to have more Game of God skills each stream, uh, you know, I'm soon going to fizzle out. That's the beauty of Twitch streaming. Is it, you know, people want the consistency, I feel. You, you know, you, you, you want to expect. Now, if I do something crazy and wild next stream tomorrow, that is none of you could possibly imagine. You'd probably be w well into it. But if the stream devolved into wild craziness every single stream, you'd be like, oh, is where what happened to the consistency? We like kind of liked knowing what to expect within uh with uh, in reason. Um That's my that's my thoughts on that. Um you learned a lot about mushrooms because of Star Trek. Oh, interesting. Interesting, right? I don't know if I'll skip that episode, but... <laughs> um, you likely never will. I mean, what's... Uh, oh, video game. Yeah, I meant, uh, like, uh, tabletop RPG. Like I said, I've got a GURPS book on it. Oh, 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 it's in my collection to read. But, uh... It's on the time. Too much, and I'm not like a massive fan of like reading on a screen. Honestly, I will do it if it's uh, the only way I can read something. But we'll get there. Um, yeah, Star Trek Online. I guess that's an MMO right route. It's been going for a bit. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to think how that would uh, pan out. In like tabletop, because I guess if you're doing tabletop, you would be like doing, you know, uh, away missions, and you'd be um doing uh you know maybe like diplomacy, political stuff, um. But there would be some amount of uh spaceship combat, um, which might not be to everybody's tastes. And like if you <laughs> and if your character has no involvement with the the piloting or the weapon systems or the bridge you know if 
you, you know, you've not got a con, then you just kind of like <laughs> stood around waiting for stuff to happen. I hope we don't die. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. I've got a Star Trek game from uh, the revamp movies, which looks to be, to me, very like, you know, kind of story based uh, third person shooter. Uh, I've heard it was a bit jank when it came out, but I assume they fixed it. But I think it just kind of got forgotten about. Um... Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, the VR Star Trek game. I've, I've, I think I've seen a little bit of that uh, route. Interesting. Yeah. <sighs> It's weird. I, I kind of feel like I don't really have any interest in VR all the time that you have to uh, like strap on a headset and haptic feedback and stuff. I just want. Can we just not have the hollow deck? Can we just not? Can we just not go walk into a room and then you're just doing it? I guess that's what you're gonna get to eventually. I don't know. I'm very. Uh, what I'm saying is I'm very satisfied with the screen and the controller. I'm very satisfied with that at the moment. I can I can imagine here, being here in fifty years, old man Isnib, being like, you know, just go back and play some SNES games we're not going around to yet, <laughs> uh, and everyone will be like, "What is this? Look at this fossil, playing this relic." Uh, <laughs> that's what we're doing. I don't care. Um, but interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm looking. It'll be an interesting read, at least, because I'll probably learn stuff about Star Trek just reading it. So obviously, it's uh, probably written in a way where you you know you not you don't specifically need to have any um, specific um, knowledge going in, because obviously it's presented as a game, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, you know, you can't. <laughs> You'll take the rough with the smooth. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, did I have anything else to jibber about today, guys? Uh, you know, you go if you want me to keep going. You got to keep me going, okay? Because I'm about ready to get into Resident Evil. Um, excellent game. Yeah, the whole story. I don't know how I feel about the fact that Ethan apparently died three years ago in the previous game, and then he came back as the, a mold creature. So not only is there no reason or rhyme for that that I'm aware of. One, he was completely unaware that he was a mold creature. He's like, unlike the other mold creatures who are just... Um, you know, he's just like walking around like, yo, I'm, I'm Ethan. I'm Ethan Winters, bro. No, you're not. You're a piece of mold that just looks like a human and nobody can tell that you're anything other than a human. But you're actually a piece of mold. And you made a mold baby with this lady. And she didn't know. So Rose is a half mold. Well, she, guess what? She's got special powers. Half human, half mold. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about all that. <laughs> it seems... I mean, it explains the fact that he can get his hand chopped off and he just glues it back on with, like, no big deal. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's, that's, that's not a problem. And he doesn't like question it or think about it. Um, uh, the smart slime or the uh, the mega my seat. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just it's weird. I don't know I'm, what I'm getting at. Really, I don't understand why Ethan got made into like that human mold, where to the point where he's unaware of what he was, and like ev every other corpse around gets just turned into a monster. What's special about Ethan? As far as I can tell, what is special about Ethan is he's the protagonist of the game. That's it. He's that's that's his plot armor. He's like, <laughs> I'm I'm sure there's probably uh, something explained somewhere. Yeah, I mean you'd you'd, you'd hope so, Scotty. Ah, Rose, or should I say, mushroom. <laughs> Cause you're not a flower. Get it? You're, no, no. Um. Hey, Rose. I hear that you are real a fun guy. Terrible. Um. 
Mushrooms. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Root. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to go check it out because I don't know. Uh, I don't know what is uh, what to expect. It's brand new as well. It's just come out, um, which is is cool. Uh, I assume there's going to be some level of combat in it. Maybe she's got special powers. Oh, this is what I did last night. Um, I spent maybe like th an hour. I had a little look at the mercenaries mode, in um, which is uh, it's basically like a time attack. So you just dropped into an area in the game. They're all different stages. You pick to either play as Ethan or Chris. Um, Chris's difference to Ethan is apparently he can like punch enemies, and he's like real strong because you know. He can punch a boulder. He can punch uh, random enemies, can't he? Uh, and it, but mostly they just get different um, loadouts, uh, different weapon types. You get a bunch of money, and then you you start with a duke, uh, and you can like buy some upgrades or buy some different stuff or whatever. Uh, so you can kind of very much customize your loadout, uh, and then you go into the stage, and then you have to uh, kill a certain amount of enemies. And then exit the stage. Um, you get bonus points for because you you can exit before you've killed all the enemies. So I think you're best to maximise your points. You want to kill all the enemies. It tells you how many there are. Um, and then obviously time. You get time bonuses uh, for killing enemies, and they're scattered around in the environment. And there's also like special powers you can pick up as well to assist with things. Um, but it's basically just like a time attack. You just have to get through it as quickly as you can, and then you get a rank. And then you get points. The the seek the completion points for doing that, um, which I guess that's what Ryan and Poison and others have been, uh, uh, Mazzola and others have been going towards, uh, trying to go for the completion. Um, so it's kind of fun. Uh, it wasn't too difficult, but I guess if you want to get a real high rank, especially on the later levels, you you, you know you it gets to the point where you have to do things in a very specific order. Uh, in a very specific way to maximise your score. Uh, and then what do you get with those points? Okay, well, you get... Uh, you can unlock special weapons and then also give those and the regular weapons infinite ammo in the campaign. Um, and, yeah, yeah, like they said, this, there's like a lightsaber you can unlock and all sorts of like weird... A, a rocket pistol and weird fanciful things. Um, but... Um, You know, you're going for the completion for the completion's sake. So I, you know, it was fun to have a little go on it. I don't know if I'm going to back. Maybe I could go and do a new game plus just for the lols. Um, see if I can get a better time. Um, or whatever. I don't know, but um, yeah, exa exactly. Right. If you can punch a boulder, you can punch a werewolf. This is not, this is not a problem. Uh, but it was fun. It was fun while I had to go on it. But I definitely don't need to be streaming any more of that. Uh, or any of that. And we're not gonna. I'm not gonna stream new game plus because we've seen the story. We go, you know, and we've seen the gameplay. It doesn't serve me, and it doesn't serve you guys to do a new game plus. And what? So if I do it off stream, and if say, people particularly want to see it, I'll always stream it into the conflux. Um, if I get time, but we are gonna get on with uh, the DLC. Uh, it's called uh, the Sh the Sh Shadow of Rose or Rose's Shadows, or I don't know. Let me load it up. Let's get into it. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to take us all stream or... Um, or... Uh, or we'll, be, we'll have time to start something new. Which we'll see. We've got... Uh, something the producers are aware. We've got two potential candidates of the new game. But I shall mention that as and when we get there. Every rose has its shadow. Indeed. That makes me think of uh, Bill and Ted. And when they're, when they're talking to death. And uh, they're trying to ex explain to <laughs> Every rose has its thorn. I know, they're, they're going to heaven. I can't remember. It's been a while since I in that movie. I used to watch that all the time. Um... Okay, so here we go. So we're going to go to bonuses. Shadows of Rose. Right, so, I mean, 
There's a bit of debate. I thought she looked about 20 years old. Uh, someone else said, oh, no, she doesn't look that old. She's clearly only 15 years old. I don't know if, you, if anyone's got any opinions on it. You'll probably get a cut scene. Um, so the whole timeline of Res the Resident Evil universe has jumped forward, like, at least 15, if not 20 years. Now, I'm sure they'll have other games filling in that time period. But at least what we're about to see now, at least in the the Chris Redfield, uh, Rose Winters uh, branch of the uh the saga we are 15 or 20 years in the future um which means like chris redfield is in his mid 60s now uh he, he getting on a little bit if we see chris in this he got he, he's, he needs to look like an old man if we see him um so yeah let's uh i'm, I'm curious as to what this is going to be Right, okay, looks like has she gone back to the village? Have you returned to the village, Rose? Just to see. Right, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just play standard. I'm curious. Let's find out. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just enjoying the day said you had something important to tell me how old does she look to you i guess she could be 15 i don't know she looks, she looks a bit older than 15 maybe not 20 18 i don't know it doesn't really matter i'm just curious i hope it's not about chris wanting me to join his operation because i already told him that's not happening i see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm also trying to get over the fact that Chris has called his, uh, his, his squad Hound Wolf. We have the Hound Wolf. Is it not meant to be Wolfhound, Chris? Is it, a Wolfhound is a thing. A Hound Wolf is not a thing, right? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter when you're naming something, but <laughs> somewhere between the two. Is that your guess, sir? Uh, anyway, yes, yeah, check out the waifu, Red Mage, then step out. That's what I'm wondering, Af. Something lost in translation. That's the, only, that's the only problem. Sometimes it can be very amusing when things... You can tell as a fan uh, things are lost in translation from Japanese to English. Um, sometimes it's amusing. Sometimes it's silly. Sometimes... I mean, most of the time they do a very good job. But anyway, get on that lurk, Red Mage. You don't want any spoilers. Um, uh... Yes, if she's 15, she's not allowed to be a waifu, red mage. Calm yourself, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we don't know how old she is. She looks definitely looks older than 15 to me. But that was just a guess. I don't think that was confirmed. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so Chris, in his mid-60s, he's still being a bad... He's running around being a bad man, leader of his squad. Okay, that's fine. I'm not here to judge. He's, he's, he's a bold, a punching old man. He does what he wants. And it sounds like... Because obviously Chris has got a weird connection with Rose. Uh, because of the, the connection that Chris had with uh, Rose's parents. However tenuous that may have been. Uh, and he did technically say, you know, Ethan was like, save my daughter. And Chris was like, okay. And he did, and he ran off with her. Um... But obviously, being a half mold uh, that Rose is, uh, she's got special moldy powers. Um, so, you know, he's like, yo, come work for me, Rose. And she's like, no. And he's like, I'll punch you. I'll let you, I'll let you pick a boulder and I'll punch it. <laughs> I'll punch something for you. Okay, I don't know what's good. <laughs> she's 16. Okay. Either, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Root. Doing the uh, doing the research there. Um, uh, <laughs> he's all right. He's not a danger to anyone. Uh, okay, she looks older than that to me. And technically, depending where you live in the world, that's not. Uh, although, actually, Root, this is kind of a good point because she's a mold creature. 
we don't actually know how old she is. She could be like three years old and she's just grown up real quick because she's a, she's a monster. She's a bioweapon, essentially. This is a good point. So it's, it's, it's actually kind of presumptuous of me to assume that we are, you know, 50, 16 years in the future. We'll, we're probably going to see Chris in a minute, so we, we'll judge. If he doesn't look any different, then we could probably assume she's like three years old. If he like looks like a raggedy old man, then we can assume... Anyway. So this is like some random guy who's um, in Chris's squad, and he's just having a chat with Rose on the, in the park bench. Oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, if I worry about you, how is, um, how are things at school? Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Treating me like a freak? Hey, uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. You're just half mold. That's not. We we are we're about diversity and acceptance here. I know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. Cause they knew what I really was. Oh what? So... What they've been mean to you and don't even know you're half mold? Oh brutal. Okay, that's not cool. Not that it would be cool anyway. Uh, yo, Defrost, how you doing there? Um. Uh, Byleth. Why do I know that name, uh, Root? Who's Byleth? Um, we've just started the, uh, Shadows of Rose DLC, uh, Defrost. Uh, and, uh, trying to figure out what is going on. You don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> You're moldist. Talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human, how I'm You're half some human. kind of horrendous monster. <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were <laughs> a way to get rid of your powers? Be a real girl. No okay, strings on you. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. Okay. You already know about Miranda. Though, to be fair, it depends what you mean by get rid of powers. If it means she just loses all the benefits, but you're still a half moldy girl, um, then that's not really what... I mean, I guess he's saying, like, if you could be fully 100% human with, but, you know, by losing your powers, and obviously that she clearly wants that. I don't know if I'd want that. I think most of us, like, would... Maybe not sacrifice our humanity, but... Wouldn't mind being an oddity or a freak for the sake of some degree of uh, special power. I guess it's all relative. It depends what it is. But, um... So while I kind of uh, disagree with that, I'm not Rose. Uh, she is herself. And she, if she's like, oh, no, screw this shit. I don't want it. Then it's not for me to judge her, is it? Uh, and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, the lodge. In there. What? What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. Sounds risky. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous. But right? Think based on what? Just like, Walking through somebody else's memories. 
You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? She might get lobotomized. She might get taken over. She might get crazy. How do I even do this? <laughs> Shit. I, I don't know. Just have a Try little sip. Reaching out to it. See what happens. So yeah, just give it a little poke. Okay. Just give it a little, 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 uh, little snifter. A little taste. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, if she's like, oh, yeah, I'm a mushroom, they'll have a little taste. They'll be like, Rose. That's, there you go. Okay, she's not even going to touch it. That's cool. Exactly, Af. You are an oddity and a freak, so you might as well get something out. There we go. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird that this got right through. <laughs> this guy, K, that's his name, K. Uh, the letter K, that's his name. Uh, he's like, Ah, no, there's no risk. It'd be fine. Just just go for it. Be, no, no worries. <laughs> Might as well, because it's now He doesn't know anything about it. What's he talking about? <laughs> it's, it's weird. What is this place that he's just brought her? Their secret lab, where they've got a chunk of it in a jar just sat on the side. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, he, see, yeah, he seems a bit sus, doesn't he? He does. Um... I don't know. Maybe he's he has just got a single letter name. So <laughs> I don't know. Very presumptuous. He's like, oh, I don't know how it works. Just do something. It'd be fine. He doesn't know how it works, but he's convinced it's absolutely safe. <laughs> what are you talking about, bruh? What are you talking about? Anyway, onwards. Weird. Yeah, it's like she sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away. Now, to be fair, anyone who's who talks like. It's like she sees things that aren't really there. Quite creepy. Uh, you don't want to be friends with that person anyway, so I don't know what you're worrying about, Rose. Uh, imagine wanting to be friends uh, with her. Definitely. Ew, oh. something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up! Freak. Wow, none of these girls sound like anyone you want anything to do with. Yeah, I'll, I'll be inclined to kill them. Um, I mean, no, <laughs> she's not. She's not a psycho like me. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's no risk for him. Exactly. Yeah. I'm still maybe here. sus. Okay. 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 She's in the. Where are you? Okay. She's in the muted my seat. It's uh, kind of this shared consciousness, I guess. Isn't right. So I guess she's probably going to have to fight stuff. And that will be... Um... Is she wearing a dance jacket? I think she is, isn't she? Oh, okay. Okay, this DLC defaults to third person. Interesting, okay. I was kind of expecting us to be in first person, but... Never mind. Okay. So everything is representational. So probably find weapons that will be... You know, Rose's strength of character or whatever and there'll be monsters popping up there won't really be monsters there'll be the mute my seat kind of resisting her influence i'll see what we did that's going anyway uh here we go miranda's research claims that the mute uh, mega my seat preserves the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence so that would suggest she might uh almost certainly is going to be bumping into her dad at some point uh and miranda i don't know who else was specifically has died nearby it and what does con what's considered nearby 10 feet 10 miles we shall see um but definitely at least miranda and definitely at least her dad um absorbing them into its own vast consciousness we also know based on our previous encounters with the mold that people who are contaminated with the mutamycete are connected to a kind of mold network uh, if we extrapolate from this, we can surmise that subjects with a strong affinity to the mutamycete should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of the dead within the megamycete. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's megamycete sample we collected 16 years ago. Thank you, Roots. Uh, we just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mould. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this presents a problem. 
Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycy. Certainly, the ethical reasoning is understandable, but has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much human, sorry, mankind could uh, stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness. Wild. Imagine that if you, um, your memories lived on independently of you uh, after you were dead. You wouldn't know about it because you'd be dead, but curious. And, and would, would you want that? Would that be th the thing that you would want? And also, how how beneficial would that be to the future species? I don't... Like, if you had like, some like, incredibly intelligent scientist or philosopher or some, some such, that might, uh, you know, world leader or something. Um, maybe not world leader, but that's another thing. <laughs> uh, that might be of uh, some use. But of old, old Isnib... I don't know, I can't, it's hard for me to imagine everything that I've seen and experienced is of use to anybody aside, aside from myself. Who knows? Uh, interesting idea, though. Uh, the possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds. I don't know about the reclamation. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Yeah, yeah K. Yeah, exactly, because K's written this, so I guess, and he's like, ah, I'm just going to ask Rose. So has K uh, just made up the the pres uh, the, the uh, purification crystal? Is it just some bullshit he's made up to trick Rose to go into it? I don't know. Uh, Vildmung, hello. How you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Uh, we are. We just started the DLC. Um, we I uh, we completed the main game for the first time yesterday. Uh, excellent, excellent game. And uh, here we are, just on the DLC. So uh, come on in if you want to see it. Obviously, if you don't. You know, want any spoilers? Do be careful. Um, and so, uh, I guess we're heading out this door, right? Wait, what? Yeah, nothing's. We're in dreamland, Rose. So nothing makes sense. Okay. You should. So I guess it's going to be like based on the village because obviously the Mega Mice has got a lot of uh, reference point for the the village. But yeah, curious. Very curious. It's put us in third person. I um. I wonder. I'm not necessarily going to change it, because it seems like it wants to. Yeah, view mode. Currently third person. Can we change? Yeah, okay. I don't know if uh, you even are able to play this DLC in first person. Uh, and even if you can, it seems like the you know, Capcom have designed this DLC. They want you to play it in third person. So we're just going to we're just gonna go for it, I guess. Some doesn't, doesn't bother me. Seems uh, fairly reasonable. Let's uh, check through this door first. Uh, I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. Well, I mean, how quick did you need to be that you took the time to write a note? I don't know. <laughs> uh, obviously, it's a representation. Okay, there's nothing in there. That's fine. This is not looking too too pleasant, is it? So gross. What is this? That that's your uh, uh, grandmother, I guess. <laughs> Technically. Oh, this seems like the way to go. Let me check that out the other way first. shoe. No, it's not a dad shoe, is it?
Okay. Let me out. Oh. Well, if I should be doing that, who's that? Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Okay. I don't know who that is. Doesn't sound like anybody from the main game, but doesn't uh, really mean anything, does it? <clears throat> Yo, Slick Mick! Ryan, how are you doing? I assume you've played this, Ryan, right? I don't want you to get any spoilers, buddy. Yeah, we just we just started. I played a little bit of Mercenaries last night, Ryan. I um, it seems cool, but it seems like if you want to like complete it and do it all like with a high ranking, it's going to be like a pain in the ass, and I'm just like, not too, not too worried really. Enough. Lovely. Got some meat hooks here. Are we? Gonna leave that. Dead bodies everywhere, indeed. You have? Okay, cool. Oh, Rose. Rose. Oh. Yeah, someone's probably not happy we're here, I guess. That's my name. It is your name. Uh, to create art, simply add to the rabbit's carcasses. Decay is not an issue. Note: Spruce them up with a bit of a makeover. Make sorry, spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. What? Oh, there we go. We've got map now. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, sorry, s s spruce up some rabbit carcasses with some makeup. This I don't know about that. I don't know if we should be doing that. Oh wait, did I um Oh no, I already checked in there, didn't I? Yeah. What's the meat hook was? Okay, we got ourselves a key. Oh no, you just stepped on grandma. Okay, cool. So I guess we're gonna do some fighting and crafting and things. There we go. So we got a key. Nothing. Uh, nothing on it though. Um. <clears throat> oh hell yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize you were a fan. Uh. Uh, Ryan. Yeah. Do do. Uh, I kind of uh, I dropped off from corn over like the two thousands, but they're like. The first four albums, my god, yeah, hell yeah. I never got to see them live, unfortunately. But, oh! Excellent bands. I can still go back and listen to them and greatly enjoy them. Okay, we've got slime dripping around everywhere. Oh. is uh it's not looking good is it okay that's right the door was back this way wasn't it okay uh so you want to you want to come out here can we come in there with you <laughs> oh no it's not good what's this 
Yes, children getting wrecked by uh, by mushrooms. No. Oh, oh no! Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. That wasn't. <gasps> oh. Hello. Just like me. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Rose. What's going on here? I guess um this rose is I guess the uh, memory or imagination uh, of what um, Miranda would have wanted her daughter to be, hence, like what probably what how she's dressed. Um, um that's you know, whether she's hostile or not. I don't know. We shall see. Seven. How you doing, seven? Are you well? I should die. Is it good so far? Not too chilly, I hope. You know, in fact, I'm about to. I think I'm a, silly, silly me. I didn't put a hat on today. I don't know why. We just start without a hat. I'm gonna put a hoodie on. Quick, one sec. doing okay you know that is infinitely better than not doing okay seven so you know that's something could be better could always be better though remember that let's keep moving but it could always be worse as well too dangerous here okay so she's maybe helping us at the moment okay well, there's nowhere else to go so let's just uh wait Wait up! Let's just assume we should be trusting her. Maybe we shouldn't. But we can't stay there, can we? Yes, let's move this dead body. Help me lift. So it's gonna be, I guess, multiple versions there of that. Y'all look just like me. Do you know what's happening here? Yeah, I surely should uh, let them all out now. Hey, okay. are you listening to me? And the switch handle's missing. Oh no! It's gone. Uh, need to find that handle quickly. Go deeper. Okay. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's if we want to uh, kite enemies around, it seems. Let's be able to run at the minute. <clears throat> This is kind of slightly disturbing. Um, sulking somewhere. <laughs> oh, bless. 
Uh, st stuff them in your your uh, your jumper. Seven. That'll warm it up. Warm it up. Keep you both warm. Squidge. I don't squidge. You right? Yeah, you did. Uh, I don't think it was a whole hour. Not quite. But it's fine. I don't think. I don't think we solved any problems in the world. I just said uh, you have the potential to be your own uh, your own hero or your own worst enemy. So make sure you. Uh, you know, you do the right thing. Which I feel, I feel like you've got that covered anyway, Squidge, so don't worry about it. Yeah, be careful, Squidge. There's like dead bodies so and things around. Bodies. It's all sorts of awfulness we're looking at here. Oh. Okay, that's just... really? Oh, God. That's the 70% mold version of Rose there. <laughs> okay. We're getting a handle on it. If you see what I'm saying. Uh, um, uh, no, no, what's that? What's Nano? Yeah, sorry, Ryan. No, it's not good, was it? That's terrible. <laughs> I should be ashamed. No, I am ashamed. Oh, dear. What? Oh. Oh. That, that mouldy fellow there, he uh, sucked her face off. And... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh... Oh, wow. Got some magical powers there, though, Rose. Uh, suddenly got a bit scary. I mean, maybe Red Mage, who knows? <laughs> maybe a little bit like that. Um, 40,000 words in a single month, Af. Well, you're doing that. Oh, National Novel Writing Month. Okay, that's insane. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm aiming for about nine. Ryan, that's what I'm going for. Right, get, try and do one every one word every three days. That's my average. No, stay back. Put your magic powers out, Rose. Or just keep running. Let's do that as well. Oh my God. She needs to learn how to uh, control her uh, mystical, magical powers, doesn't she? Wow, there you go. Yeah, but yeah, and then you you kind of like busy. So it's like a, it's kind of like a sober October, or no, not November. It's like a sort of self personal challenge, like writers of the world. Off you go.
You're not getting like marks on it. It's not a competition or anything. But yeah, there you go. So definitely, uh, definitely helped then, Squidge. All right, okay, it's a little bit less mouldy in in this room. So let's just let's take a breath for a minute, Rose. What? It's your dad. What are you? Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? Your cousins. How? What is this? Where am I? Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. See, I could understand her uh, wanting to give it a go, but after you just experienced that, I assume you just kind of on this one's if if you die here, then you'd you know you're gonna uh, die in the real world kind of thing. Uh, maybe or maybe not. If I was her, I'd be like, you know, I'll just live with these these mushroom powers. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not worry about. It. I'll just go back and I'll I'll uh, you know I'll deal with the mean girls. It's not a problem. But technically, she doesn't know how to leave. But she's like, no, I don't even want to leave. I'm staying here until I've found the crystal. Okay. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Okay, so... Uh, who are you? M my guardian angel? Do you have a name? Dad. If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? The Archangel Dad. Okay. Michael? What now? Everywhere's dangerous. We've got typewriter though, so it's fine. There might be something in here though. Like uh, a gun. Or we can use uh, special powers, turn those special powers into a gun. Okay, cool. I guess we'll save it. I don't know how long this is. But let's. Uh... Yeah, it, it certainly does. It's uh, the guest bedroom, the Lady D's place. This is where your dad got strung up. Isn't that? Uh, here we go. It's a grand honor that you bestow upon me such an important task. I can report the liquid void you provided has some splendid properties. It is most obvious. Its most obvious use is for my dogs on the hunt, aiding them as they pursue our quarry. It almost does wonders. It also does wonders for slowing down and corralling the rabbits. Some have even been foolish enough to stumble into it and been completely engulfed. With this, I am certain I will be able to fulfill your expectations and get you the results you so desire. Okay, the liquid void. That's the, the mold, I guess. The goo. Stay away from it. That seems, uh, seems reasonable. Okay. get to it so it's obviously going to be very reminiscent of the castle but <coughs> could also very much be uh it's going to be all mixed up isn't it and random okay first aid nice would rather have a gun these poor things but it's not worry about that one thing at a time No, no. All right, freaky. A knife or something. Maybe there's no combat. Maybe it's just running away and avoiding and dodging and.
Not a dink. Another. Oh, it is as well. <laughs> Lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. Yep. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Uh, let me go! Let me go! It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. Uh. A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. Oh. The crystal? <gasps> Who's this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Oh, dear. What is that? Black Lotus there. Speak too soon. Shit! What now? Yeah, I need a weapon. No, no, no shizzle. Gun. Yeah, I need a gun. We do that. You got gun Seriously? post, Dad. Where am I gonna get a gun? Mushroom gun. What, like this? Oh. Stamped mushroom gum, excellent. <laughs> Point and shoot. That's usually how it works. Okay, that's uh Oh, I was think I didn't think she was moving then. She just moves very slowly. I guess she's ne probably never used a gun before, so Okay, cool. I, I assume going for headshots is preferable, but obviously I'd rather uh hit a torso shot than uh I guess yeah, so we can we wanna stay away from any of the the black red goo, don't we? I wonder where I might find the next rabbit. Um, oh, it's another, uh, another door back that way, also. I thought it was blocked off. Yeah, oh. Yeah, these uh, little flower things are sus. I'll have to shoot it now. Okay, we'll come back to I don't want to waste ammo. That's only got like, nine bullets. Uh, let me just have a little explore elsewhere first. They're That's... gone. I mean, there's the crystal. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy, is it? Probably a trap, honestly. This must be the crystal. A uh, large crystal is glowing in the pale blue light. It looks cool. Ah, okay. Indentation. Something can be inserted. Okay, we need uh, three masks. These statues. Uh, the disciples await their masks. Bronze, silver, gold. With... I guess I need to find these masks to unlock it. Indeed. With their uh, garb array, the light shall be released. Okay. Do I find uh, bronze, silver, and gold masks? Okay, we can do that.
Yeah, indeed. Indeed they are silly, mate. I'm not trying to judge. Um, Interesting. I think I've got a vibe like I can maybe attack these or, or I'll do something in the environment to unblock them, but So I don't want to waste ammo if that's not the case. Okay, I'm not going that way okay, Let's try this door Right, okay. Grant me that which sees the truth through its three eyes. Shotgun. Okay, so some kind of key. There's clearly a key-shaped hole there. So if we find a key, we might get a shotgun. Which uh, definitely will not be upset about that. Okay, my door's chained up. Need some kind of other other item, you think. Oh, some more bullets, nice. I assume we're probably not getting upgrades. I would imagine this DLC is well, I mean the, the Duke is the bad guy, so <laughs> um Does that mean the Duke died when it all went down? I guess he maybe he did. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Maybe. Eight bullets. That's far more than I would uh, like to use. That means we've got not enough to kill another one of those things. I'm sure the other, the first one took less than that, but ah, uh, unless I'm gonna, you're supposed to bait into the cold. Maybe they don't like the cold. But maybe I'm just uh, making assumptions there. Bolt cutters, nice. That's a lot from the other side. Oh. Over here. We got first dad. It should help. If you really want to help, you could back me up against those things. No, you can't. Okay. What? So I'm on my own? Great. Oh, cheers, Dad. <laughs> oh, um. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, headshots, no doubt. No doubt. My problem with going for headshots, though, Ryan, is I'll miss. So. That's why I'm kind not to. I'll just take the shot as I see it, but, you know, we'll see. Oh. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a knife. I feel like maybe we can, uh, these are to be, uh, shot or attacked. Again, let me just keep exploring until I come to a dead end in that regard. Yeah, that's one of the masks there. How? <clears throat> yeah, mask is trapped. Break the core. Yeah. 
core. You mean that gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Shoot it? Oh, use your powers. My powers? I literally came here to get rid of them. It's the only way. Okay. Okay. Fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? It's an amplifier. What's that? Go through that door. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll trust you, Dan. You gave us bullets. Okay. Is, uh, that's the same symbol where the uh, the key was uh, for the shotgun. And so I wonder if we need to unlock the door first, then we get the shotgun. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? fluid. Uh, can you use these things to combine them together? Yes, we know. I need to do everything can survive, indeed. No doubt. Both of these at the same time. I have no choice. unfortunate never mind it happens um okay so i guess i probably need to be uh i might try and make some bullets i guess I'm pushing us to the limit here. Can't, it's, I can't kill another one. I've got <laughs> right, okay. I should have just probably gone for it for that door there, but... Come on, this way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay.
Wham. Um. No way I'm waiting through that. Maybe I can find a way across. I'm too risky. I didn't, uh, I was not gonna. Okay, yeah, cool. There we go. Eight more bullets. That's it. And kill one more creature. And honestly, you don't. Unlike the the uh, the main game, you kind of don't need to. If you can avoid creatures, you should do because you, there's no benefit to killing them. Whereas obviously in the the main game, you're gonna get money, you're gonna get ammo, you're gonna get some kind of uh, reward for doing so. She knows. Oh, God. Um. This. All right, cool, Dad. Thank you. Oh. So, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Drink it. Focus. All right. This works. Uh, I found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the mutamycete network by introducing a disruptive force to block the auto inducers that you they use for communication. For example, the hard packed cores of mold known as sclerotia. Scler yeah, begin to break down on the cellular level and disintegrate when thus disrupted. Sclerotia form when the mutamycete develops in new locations, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. They are often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold has spread. When the auto inducers of the sclerotia are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to sclerotia will also disintegrate. Okay. It would appear that destabilizing Scrocia sends a, a signal indicating that location is no longer viable for mutamycete habitation, triggering a full-scale retreat. So, uh, probably want to be slinging it around every which way, right? Um, so how do we use the power, though? Um, that's the question. Unless we just, like, literally activate it when we get to one. This one out. Oh, right bumper. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay, I could live with that. Does it need time to recharge or? I assume it own. Oh. Nice. It only works on the cores. If there's a random patch, I guess it wouldn't uh, do anything. Okay, cool. Now I'm playing with power. Obviously, I guess it won't work. Do anything on the the monsters. But now we're, uh, we've got something to work with. Let's just go. Maybe it freezes them or stuns them. We could probably try it out. It probably won't do anything, but who knows? If I 
can't get around it. I need to get rid of it. Not close enough. Okay, so it's got a certain amount of range that is needed. There we go. Nice. Trying to bust in the door. Ugh, I can't quite get a grip. Okay. Oh, it could be a pain in the ass. Because he's going to bust through the door after us, but. Capacity Magi. Nice. I don't see any way to do with that. Okay, cool. I'm starting to get uh, a little bit of something in the way of supplies going. Oh, okay. I don't see uh, any way to get through that other door there. I'm half tempted to just kill it. It just sort of stops following us. <laughs> I'm going to use that high capacity mag because I'm going to assume, like in the base game, it will give us some free ammo. Alright, we're getting around uh, these guys could be tricky. Okay, I might uh, leave one. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, I can get by one. Getting by two might have been a bit tougher. Okay, yeah, definitely nothing there. I didn't even check this door, did I? I just kind of chose a door. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's done. Right, okay, cool. Uh, so there's still two behind us, but hopefully they are... Um, they don't follow us down there. Oh. Oh, shit. What was that? That was not one of the little ones, was it? Ay ay. Ay ay ay. The hu little ones, the humanoid ones. What? Indeed. What? Indeed. Yeah, that's our uh, special door. I guess we are having to go this way. Okay, the silver mask from that bust there. I don't know exactly where that is, but oh, monocular door deep in the basement. Okay, there presumably. Oh, you want to get this first, no? made a bit of room for us to run around. Oh, 
when we got hit from the front. I'm going to take a quick break in a second. Okay, that's the bronze mask. I finally got it. Let me just double check that. Okay, so it look, it, you know, I got the impression maybe you needed a key, but it does seem to be the case that. Yeah. Okay, I'll get out from the other side. Let me just grab this and I'll run away for a minute. I'll be as quick as I can. Okay, yeah, and that's where we came back from. I know there's one around out here, but nothing, uh, nothing good. I can just safely assume I'll feel. Still something out here, apparently. Oh, there we go. Herb. There we go. Got it. Right. Gonna run away for a minute, guys. Be right back. Can I sit here? No, only if you ask nicely, Ryan. Uh, but yes, Marcus Ruckers. Thank you, uh, thank you for follow. Appreciate it. Any questions, let me know. I won't, I won't spiel you up. You will drop to follow. But yes, here we are. We're playing um, the new new DLC of Village. And uh, not too far into it, I don't think. Seems pretty cool. Rest. Um, what's wrong? The f everything. None of this was supposed to happen. No, the reason I came here hasn't changed. I need that crystal. Thank you. Oh, cool. Cheers, Dad. Gives us a heal. Thank you. Um, I'll equip that high capacity mag as soon as uh. As soon as I uh, use those three bullets, I'm going to make sure every bullet counts, don't you? I right, want that shotgun for sure. Okay. Um, loads of stuff we could probably go and look at, I expect. I don't know exactly what was blocked off. See, that's where we just came from. That was locked from the other side. And presumably that will... Uh, we're going to go through the triocular door. We'll uh, get around to that. Head into the kitchen. Um. Right, and that door there in the entrance hall, well, I believe, was blocked off. Let me just double check in the kitchen. I don't know if it was um. 
I know there's a couple of things we saw blocked off. Which we should now be able to get through, but I don't remember uh, exactly where they were. Okay, now, and that's just locked from that the other side, I believe. Yeah. Okay, back out this way. Watching for big scary things. Okay, that's blocked off for a start. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, did we get? I don't think we went down into the antechamber. Uh, we were in the cutscene. Yeah, because we, we came through here and then we ran up here and I didn't go back and check. We got another door there. So, lots of stuff for us to look at. Gunpowder. Oh. A locked briefcase with a single eyeball on it. Okay. I remember that for a little bit. For that herb. We got a. I do not recall a single thing. Not who I am, nor how I came to be. I know nothing. My memories are as broken as the face I hid behind this mask. The face I hide. Oh. Okay, if, is this the Duke? Well, this thing is Duke. If you don't remember anything, you don't know who you are. Why are you uh, harassing little girls, buddy? I don't think you should be doing that. Um, all that remains is this feeling, this hunger to see others in pain. The despair in their eyes, the sound of their screams. Ow! All right, buddy. Who will be my next quarry? I have my minion to do my bidding. He has many faces, but no brains within those skulls. Multiple skulls. Oh my God. Here's my best hound, and he will chase those rabbits down. Imagine if you woke up somewhere and you just didn't know who you were or what you were or how you came to be, but you were just like, Ow! Sadism! Ow! Would, I don't know. Would you not have questions for yourself? I guess um, what I'm getting at is, is your um, moral compass, your ethical um, foundations... Is that built into you as a person, or is that uh, is that a, is that learned behaviour? That's the question. I don't know if there's an answer for that. Um, oh yeah, um, I've got uh, I know a guy, uh, Marcus, who started the uh, the main game for his first time in third person. It looks cool. I, I like the change of perspective. Um, I didn't. I don't hate the first person. It'd be interesting to maybe go back and try it again. I don't know. Um, I might see this ever. <laughs> uh, you're about halfway through. Excellent. Well, I hope we don't give any spoilers, Marcus. But you obviously, you're welcome to be here. Um, right, so we need to remember to come back for that. Okay, so I think we're just heading over and towards the... Uh, entrance hall there and we're clear there's clearly really some kind of monster that is um beyond the uh beyond the regular oh okay we're not going that way then uh yeah do refer to it as like it's a hound but it's stupid he said. He's got multiple skulls as well. That's kind of slightly disturbing. I just want to go back through this way. I won't worry about placing the, the mask we've got at the minute. Oh, it seems kind of pointless. Until we uh, have all three of them. Yeah, absolutely not that way. So I, th I think we've collected everything and got everything we possibly can at the minute. Stuff we need to come back and look at once we've got a, a key or two. 
We shall uh, see about that as we go. Alright, we're heading up to the rooftops now. Safe here. Chem fluid. Thanks, Dad. Tired. Yeah. I'm fine, but what about you? Is that why your words are fading? Try not to overdo it then. Chem fluid, more bullets. Thank you. I guess she's uh, she'd probably be a bit emotional when she realizes it's her dad. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's safe in here. But there's nothing here, apart from the supplies. So I've, I must have missed something somewhere. So we've got the locked briefcase there. Um, that, and there's the, uh, the, key, the same key for that door, for that, for the briefcase, presumably. The three, uh, the three eyeball key is that door there, and, uh, the, uh, shotgun in there. That door's locked from the other side, and that door's locked from the other side. Okay, I've got an unchecked door there. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I I missed that on the other side of the library. Okay, I better go check that because that's the only lead I've got at the minute that I can think of. There's definitely uh, nothing down here, right? Okay, I must have just missed that door as I was going through. Keep an eye out for anything else, though. Unless I yeah, can't stop that from the other side. Unless I can... Uh, it's going to go upstairs, but I don't think I saw... Ah, we can go upstairs. Okay. Cool. Hand-drawn map, eh? Okay. Uh, yes, there we go. Round the hallway into the dressing room. We'll find the one eyeball key around that way. But before we go that way. Ah, oh, look, and there you go. And that's the same door. Okay, I wonder if it was, maybe it was locked from the other side. Maybe I should check it. Just to open things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Perfect. We're on track. Okay, but that has uh, opened up their place with this couple of uh, mould guys I've left. <laughs> Never mind, so they might uh, head through here and harass us, but well, it's fine. We've got a bit of ammo now, I feel. Enough to be doing something with, at least. Okay, let me just try this door. Oh, hello. Frog painting. Sheep. That's not sheep, that's wolf, right? Okay, he doesn't want to uh, tell me what the name of that one. That's clearly a wolf. Right, okay, we've got a uh, butterfly. Empty. Spider. The predators stand united, each staring down their prey. Okay. Cool, so the wolf presumably kills the sheep. The, uh, the froggo, presumably will... No, hang on. Oh, I'm missing a painting anyway. Presumably the spider would eat the butterfly, and then maybe we've got to find a f something a frog to eat, or something that eats a frog. So I think we need to find a another picture before we can do this puzzle in here. Okay, that's the vibe I'm getting at least. Uh, nice.
Shouldn't have done drop items, but this is what it is. That saved us. What a good guy. Uh, this thing's chased me in here. But where is it? The monocular key was supposed to be here somewhere. It's not in this room, no. It must be close by. Yeah, no, it's the other room, isn't it? It's the dressing room. This, this room. Not this room. But uh, for the sake of safety, don't go too weak. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm going to go this way, I said. you got to calm yourself, Dad. Don't use, use up all your energies. Alright, it's that big boy. We clearly... Uh, I don't want to try uh, fighting that with a pistol. Oh, hang on, though. I'm missing something in here. Something's still in here, apparently. Apart from that, no, obviously. Oh, uh, nothing's jumping out at me. Uh, I guess we're not worried about it. We'll, uh, we'll come back. Or not. We'll see. Oh, sorry. Are we alright? My, uh, my feed on my laptop just died. We can. You can, Red Mage. Don't, don't get too excited. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to have crashed everywhere. Okay, just a little reload. Never mind. Seems we seem to be back. I was wondering if my OBS had died again then, but no, my connection seems alright. Um Yeah, you do a little crouch. And that's very exciting, Red Mage. <laughs> uh Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just uh, not worry about it. Stop using up all your energy, Dad. Okay, we're starting to get a bit of ammo going on now. Looks like there are more of these. Well, stronger now. Oh, I get, oh yeah. Oh, I wonder if we can. We've got three. We've got three nubbins next to our uh, on our special power. Oh. Oh, nice. That's a bit annoying. How that uh, came down. Never mind. We should go. Cool. Now, does that regen on its own over time? We shall see. If it does, very slowly. That's cool. That's going to save us a bit of ammo. And hopefully a bit of damage as well. 
Okay. So first we're going back. We're going to try and head out there and stun the big guy. Oh, here we go. This too. Oh, sprig of white sage. Oh. We can smoke it. Oh. Okay, it's one use. And it gives you a charge of your power back. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I lost it on my end, uh, Red Mage. But never mind, we're back. Be careful, no doubt. Agreed. Oh, Use your heels from your menu, don't you? Of course. Oh, it gives you two back. Okay. God, they just keep coming. Oh my god. Uh, as previously discussed, disrupting the auto inducers within a mutant mice seat network can have destabilizing effects on the mold. Uh, these effects can also be observed in beings formed of mold. Rather than the cellular disintegration observed in the uh, sclerotia, uh, however, these, this instead presents a dramatic slowing of movement, practically freezing the being in place. If other bodies are in close proximity to the target, this disruption effect can spread, but only within a very limited space. Uh, okay, so there's two next to each other. Okay. I'm tempted to uh, just leave you here, buddy. Uh oh, gonna be a big boy going around. Okay, I think that's everything. No. second okay this is not where no i was thinking I was like, this is just no that's not the place um right so we've got the uh single eyeball key we still need to paint in here so we need to get down to the uh salon that's where i need to go That's going to be uh, extra damage, no? Sweet. Right, next we want to head this, no, this door here. So back out into the courtyard. Let's 
straight ahead. Got some new for us, Dad. Stay safe. I'm gonna try. I'm trying, but it's hard when I'm being hunted by a demented giant and his creepy minions. Yeah, I guess I can't fight them all. Yeah, the, the ammo is not gonna last. <laughs> So, picture. Right, here we go. I think we're back on track. We missed anything so far. Nothing nice. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome to the Gallery of Despair. A wondrous display of those few who succeeded in obtaining at least one mask. Set your sights upon the, those chosen few whose final moments of despair are preserved forever in this gallery. Witness in this collection the light of life from a different perspective. Uh, no. This is, this is dark. What, 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 what? Oh my god. That's sick. Yes. Interesting. So I wonder if um what if the Duke is actually like is actually a freaky weirdo. Like he this is who he really is, but we just never saw that side of him. Um in, in the main game. Or maybe not, I don't know. We better use that. Although we don't know if we can combine that with anything, really, do we? I'm probably not. We're probably, I assume they're just going to be one use. Oh, what we got here? All right, sorted. Okay, let's read this. Let's pause. Although I have just drowned, the arrow's bite doth sting. They hang me long ago, yet I feel everything. But still the worst, not last nor first, the sharpened blade did ring. Okay, so we've got to get the right order. So we've got uh, arrows, sword over there, uh, hanging, and drowning. Okay, so, we know, so all that said is the sword is not last or first. Um, right, although I've just drowned, the arrow's bite doth sting. They hanged me long ago. So you're going to be hanging first. Um, ju so just drowned. That The arrow's bite doth sting. That suggests that you got shot with arrows before you drowned. Right? As opposed to the drowning, then the arrows. It's hard to interpret that, isn't it? So I feel like the hanging is first, then either arrow or drowning, then blade, then the other one of the two. Um, let's give it a go. It, I guess it will just reset, won't it? If uh, 
Um, so, what, what do you think the interpretation of that is? Uh, although I have just drowned, the arrow's bite doth sting. Anyone feel uh, strongly which of those should be, which way around that should be? Um, reading it like that, it suggests to me that you've been drowned, so you don't expect the arrows to hurt, but yet they do. Um, as opposed to, oh, I got shot with arrows and they hurt, and now I've been drowned, but the arrows still hurt. I don't know. I'm going to um, try arrows first. I guess the whole thing will... No, okay. Oh, it's just... There's no penalty anyway, so... Okay. It was drowning first. Okay. Fair enough. Oh! Oh, wait, no. I oh. got the wrong order at some point. Ah, unless it's the sword is second. Okay. Let's try arrows. No. Okay, arrows last. Okay. Mr. Gunny? How are you doing there? You alright? What's going on, friend? Are you well? How's life treating you? Um, and, uh, do you know this game at all? Are you a fan of it? Uh, so that's clearly the way we want to go, but I, uh, I know there's an enemy out here, but I want to have a little look around the corner. That's the only problem. Again, chem fluid. So I think we can probably make a couple of bullets if we. No, not from the other side. Okay, I mean, at least I'll have to. I we'll have to deal with that guy when we come through this way from the other direction. Or something. Okay, so if I think I think this is the only way for us to go. Right, the silver mask is in the small room in the back. I'm so close. Bless you. Oh, it's not time for big boy, is it? Is it not? Seeing us there. Oh, 
what if we're doing? We better hurry up. This big boy is right there. Okay, I think we can kill it properly. Oh, another one? Really? No worries, Root. Thank you for the luck. Um, it isn't as bad, but it's also uh, not great, is it? Silver mask. mask is down. Time to go. You put your filthy lips on something you shouldn't have. I think it's time to teach this greedy little rabbit a lesson. Speak for yourself, Frank. Some an item down there, but I ain't going back for that. Um, I'm not sure how technically getting the mask helps us though, unless that like gives a key as we pop them in. I hope I don't have to head back down there. I'm not sure how well I can deal with all that mess that's back down there, but. Yeah, got the mask, Dad. I got it, but just barely. This ugly brute turned up. No shit! I can't fight something like that. I'll take all the help I can get. Cool, thank you. Heal. Okay, we've got a, a safe point. I know I've done the best, but I'm not, not going, not going back for it. So, okay. Let's take it outside. Let me just check the other room before we head down this way. Aha! A snake. I assume the snake is murdering the frog, though, isn't it? That seems to make sense. Okay, let's, uh... Lady D's bath. Oh, my God. She, uh, she needs it, doesn't she? <laughs> of that size. <laughs> right, some herbage. Fluid. Okay, that's everything. Scrap. Uh, shotgun shells, gunpowder, and rusted scrap. Pipe bombs, gunpowder, rusted scrap, and herbs. I saw a shotgun in the dining room. This should help me. Indeed. Cool. 
cool. Okay, that's everything up here. So, oh, I thought I could have maybe. I thought I was heading down there. I thought it was a ladder. It's not. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay, so we want to head down here. That takes us back out into the courtyard. Then we should head into the main hall up to the gallery and use our uh, snack painting. This is uh, Sphinx. How are you doing, Sphinx? Let me get this hydration of Sphinx. How are you doing, my dear? Are you well? How's your Thursday? You were a little less tired than you were the other day. Hopefully. But life be tiring, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'm a... Uh... I don't know how far through... We might be... I mean, if we're just a case of... We do the three masks and then... A little bit of stuff at the end. And then that's the... You know, that's the end of the DLC. It's not very long, but... Um, it's actually kind of better than I thought it would be. I don't know what I was expecting... But this is cool. I'm liking this. You're busy at work. Yeah, yeah. Not bad at all, Sphinx. You know me. I'm always, uh, I'm always well. Excuse me. A bit of wind there. Don't work too hard, though. I'll say that. Thank you kindly. Yeah, we're having, having good fun with it. We had uh, really enjoyed this game. Oh. Persistent little rabbit, aren't you? Yes. But you cannot simply do as you please. This guy again? Oof. That was close. Main hall. You right. Let's be uh moving some pictures around. I guess it probably doesn't matter what order. Um. Ah, oh, okay, the wolf is fixed in place. So you know where to put everything. Okay. So there we're putting the sheep. Ah, oh, okay, and the uh the butterfly's fixed in place. Okay. I'm gonna put the uh the spider there. Snake there. Frog over there. Is this going to uh, give us a three eye key? Did he make these puzzles to mess with me? Probably. Done well. And to the golden mass shall be granted. Yes. All right. So we go down to the diner and that'll pick out as the shotgun. And then back out into the courtyard. To the north there. For the direction to proceed. And that should hopefully be leading us... Uh, was the gold mask, which you uh, one would think might be the, uh, the scariest one to deal with. This should make things easier. Nice, right? Okay, so um, right. So one chem fluid and one gunpowder makes uh, 
eight bullets or one gunpowder and one rusted scrap makes three shotgun shells um we can go for the shotgun shells and of course if we can spend a herb as well for the same plus a pipe bomb and we could use the, say well if we could uh i mean we could uh go uh if i don't worry about bullets and i don't worry about pipe bombs i could put all the gunpowder and rusted scrap although actually we've, we need <laughs> we uh we've only got what a single rusted scrap so there's not so much we can do about that uh i was gonna say we could do that and then uh use our herbs and chem fluids but then we'd be left over with uh chem fluid and gunpowder anyway yeah okay well i'll play it by ear we'll see how we uh how it goes um should i actually maybe just head back a second and save it i'm sure they'll, we'll get decent checkpoints anyway but i'm sure it's gonna be actually dangerous going forward You can come in now. Oh, jeez. Okay, I wasted a bullet there. That's fine. Okay. I just want him grabbing hold of me. Let's head this way. Let's stay away from the big boy, don't we? Obviously. Here we go. Close enough to that. Right. Close enough to that, but I've got to get the right facing of it. Cool. White herb and chem fluid. Briefly. For there. Oh no. Better kill this one, I think. Oh, 
Okay, I think I need to get down that block there to get rid of that one. There's not... I can't see any, uh... Any of the, uh, the nubbins that I need to, uh... uh screw loose here. So I wonder if it's... Is it going to be quicker to go around the, uh, the other way? Yeah, probably. Let's kite them around. I don't know if it actually be there quicker. There must be more cores in here. Yes, there must be. <laughs> Just trying to stay away from you, buddies. Oh, jeez. Oh, was that a super hub? Right, so I don't know what that has done for us exactly. Okay, if we've got to fight these two, I'd rather come at them from uh, the other direction. get across here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think that's everything. But, uh, I kind of want to get back there. There we go. How are you? you say something? Okay, cool. We got our items. Okay, let me go back the other way. Now, hopefully that's cleared up the floor. Uh, not entirely. Oh, jeez. Okay, the gold mask. For Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. She's got mold rights, didn't it? Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, this is the DLC, Sphinx. Um, this is Rose, you know, the baby from the main game. This is her. Uh, 16 years later. Um... She basically, you know, I don't know if you caught much of the end. Apparently her dad, Ethan, who you play the main game as, he wasn't really, he wasn't human. Uh, he wasn't not slightly human. He was literally one of these mold creatures who thought he was human. So she's a half mold creature because her dad was a mold creature, even if he didn't realize it. Um, basically, she's getting picked on at, at school because she's a freak. So she's gone into the, the mushroom realm essentially, uh, to uh, try and remove her powers. And in the mushroom realm, anyone who dies nearby the, the, the king mushroom, their memories are there. So she's got this uh, mysterious spirit helping her out, which, you know, it's pretty obvious to us that it's her dad. But obviously, she never met her dad. Well, she did as a baby. She didn't remember him. So it's probably going to be a revelation at the end where... Uh, she's like, dad, it's you. Um, yeah, so we're playing as Rose 16 years later. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's cool. It's fun. Don't worry about the, 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 <laughs> the, the, 
wildness of the story. But I wonder if there's going to be a bit of a revelation when she, by the time she gets to the end, she's going to be like, actually, I want to keep my powers. Oh, dear. Okay, just been yeeted. Scripted, though, so obviously, um, it's good that, um, I'm put in prison. Uh, we've got a mask, though. Unless we've... Rise and shine, little one. What a shame. You are but a hollow shell of an jump away from claiming your crystalline prize. I knew the real rose would be so much more lively. It would be a shame to snuff you out so unceremoniously. Shall we prolong our fun a little longer? Creepy. Oh, come now, don't pout. I've prepared a nice little diversion for you. So many sclerotia. Nearly all of them are counterfeit. Do you think you can suss out the real ones? Oh. Time is running out, little one. Tick tock, tick tock. You'll be swallowed right up if you don't hurry. Okay. How am I supposed to tell the difference? Yeah, I'll stay calm. Okay, that's gonna help. I was looking for the red Only line come off of it. No time for lollygagging. Uh, lower than barrel. I'm supposed to just uh, yes. Oh, uh, lucky second guess there. Um. Deep shadow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not a good idea to take any chances. <laughs> right, so you choose the wrong one. Oh, I don't need to walk in it. Only one minute to go. Yeah, I mean, they're all in the shadow there. I'm not seeing any that are more shadowed than others. Uh, big core. That's kind of big. Yeah, that dad's clues are not that helpful. I've tried the big one. Yeah, so deep shadow is a clue. Broken wall. Um, I was trying to shoot that out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. I'll try again. Fine screams there. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Well, some some of those clues are not. I don't know. They're not really helping. At least I know where one of them is. Okay. We can skip that. We don't need to. Out, so I believe it is that one there. The first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice work. Next one. Okay. Come on, Dad. What's the next one? Big core. That one? Whoopsie. You need a more discerning eye, my dear. Only two minutes left. No time for long. They're all, they're all big. None of them looks particularly bigger than the other. Deep shadow. Yeah, what? Well, we've just got to guess until you get the right one in, in here. 
There's not any in there. This one's in deep shadow. That one. I'm not seeing that any that are bigger than any others, apart from that one in there, which it isn't. Um. Broken wall. Okay, this is the broken wall. It's still directly above it. I don't know. I might just try and error this, folks. I don't. I don't think these clues are very useful. But <laughs> the first one I got was a guess. None of these look any different. I don't know. Ten seconds. It was nice knowing you. Troll and error. Never mind. Yeah, sorry, Dad. You yeah, you might be a good guy, but your your clues are a bit. Time jank. is running out, little one. Tick tock, tick tock. Yes. So I tried shooting that barrel because I figured there might be like one behind that, but it's one behind the TV. Uh, there's not specifically one up there. Shooting them doesn't do anything. Yeah, okay, st st standing in that is obviously not uh, a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Sphinx. It's, the clues don't really. I mean, they make sense. Oh, jeez. Okay, we don't need to get the murder scene every single time. Um. At the big core. There's only one that is any different size to any others. And it's the one behind that. In that little alcove. And it's not that one. In fact that one spawned a monster. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, cracked wall. Well that's the alcove right. It's not any of those in there. So that doesn't help. Uh, and what was the uh, the final clue? Am I uh, am I going to Nidia? Yes, I have a discerning guy of, of what? They all look the same. None of them look any different. Yeah, big core. That's not it. Broken wall. No. Deep shadow. They all kind of suggest that. None are in more shadow than any others. I, I don't know. I don't know. Am I... I know Ryan has played this. Um, am I just being an idiot, Ryan? I don't... Am I failing to understand? Or is it just not obvious? Is, it, is there one that is invisible? Am I just back to guessing? Just 90 seconds left. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> You're not even close. I'm always giving you bullets there as if that's a clue. Let me try, let me try that one again. 
That's not gonna kill. Unless this is scripted, I have to kill this thing. First, and then I've got to do it again. Still not done. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you go. That's throwing you off. You try one, and he's like, no, that's not right. But it is right. You have to kill the monster first. Okay. Okay, so is that the... Are you ready for the grand finale? Yeah, hurry. No, no, no shit, Dad. No shit. What? That's a big one. Yeah, here. Up. Close now, further. Center of that one. 30 seconds is not a good idea to take any chances. <laughs> really doing nothing. That one. Alright, okay, it was the whole thing was scripted basically. Okay. So the final one. So I don't even know how you're supposed to I can't you know. I accidentally found the first one. The second one is a red herring because you're like, this is the obvious. It's obviously this one. Ah, no, there's an enemy. And I'm like, okay, well, this is an enemy spawning. It's like, that's not it. No, you have to spawn the enemy. You have to kill the enemy. Then you have to do that one. And then the final one is one that wasn't even there before to start with. Okay. It's just scripted. So not really a puzzle. You just have to go along with what you're presented with. Which is, um, it's a shame. I prefer it if it was an actual, uh, if it was an actual puzzle and I was actually, you know, you know, if it was a task of actual observation, but it wasn't, it just pretended to be. Okay, never mind, I'll let it off. You know, you can't, uh, you did it. What did we do, Dad? I wouldn't have done it without you. Yo, Cage! How you doing, Cage? I couldn't have done it without you! Oh, you? No, not really. I was hoping for a pony, but I guess this will do. <laughs> Indeed, shotgun shells, bullets, and a safe point. Yeah, I like the other puzzles better. Um, yeah, I'm very well, Cage. How are you, buddy? You sick? You are sick, are you? That's not good. You're not supposed to be streaming today. Right. Okay. Let's see what you can see. I think we're doing alright for shotgun shells, aren't we? Got ten total. One white sage there. Hang on to that. One heal. Um, 29 bullets and two pipe bombs. So we're not doing too bad, all things considered. Yeah, what's wrong, Cage? You're not, you're not looking after yourself, buddy. All right, some scrap. Yeah, that's got everything. Cool. hurts to talk jeez louise i've got a sore throat yeah no exactly yeah of course buddy yeah don't wear it out on stream if you need it for work But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That's right. Castlevania's not going anywhere. It can, um... It'll be there, right there waiting for you when you're ready for it. Right, okay. And this one looks the kitchen. Right, okay, cool. So, I believe we're just getting up to the main hall and whacking those masks in. And then... I assume that's not the end of it. It's gonna be like a, there's going to be like a, at least a, a final boss fight or something, isn't there? Almost time. 
It is. It's that. It's too much time. Yeah. <laughs> I can finally get rid of these powers. But I have to admit, I lived with them for so long. It's kind of weird to let them go. Yeah. Be careful. We'll I see know. You. You she changed her mind after this. I not that she has these power. We don't know what power she has in real life. This is just obviously a representation when you're in the uh, the mushroom hive mind of how her powers function. Um, so I don't know. We'll get an answer to that. The fact that Chris is like, "Yo, sixteen-year-old girl, come join my elite squad, the Hound Wolf Squad, not Wolfhound, Hound Wolf Squad of badasses, of badassery, uh, working for Umbrella." Don't mind, ignore that point. So she must be like, she must have some kind of skills. And she seems like she's not used to using firearms either. So I don't know. I don't know what Chris's philosophy is or what he's thinking. But anyway, let me, um, I know we just saved a second ago, but just in case this throws us into death. Um, You know what? I don't even know which one's going on which face here. Probably should, should have should have looked. There we go. Okay. It's probably on silver and gold, isn't it? One, two, three. Yeah. Cool. Give us this crystal then. Okay, now you've got to chew on this, Rose, and then you your powers will be gone, but now you need to get out of here. <laughs> well done, little one. You've more than earned this reward. Almost looks like the real thing, doesn't it? Oh. What? <laughs> it's a replica, of course. Nothing that valuable could ever manifest on this stratum. <laughs> Did you really think I'd give away something so precious? I had to bait the trap with something. No, oh dear. No, no. <laughs> we are y yes and no, Cage. We are in, uh, we are actually in the the mushroom realm the i think i don't know what else <laughs> not not the place mario lives not the kingdom um so the mold creature the mega my 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 seat the uh the one that is it has a shared consciousness and it drags in the memories and the conscious dead consciousness of people who've died near it and stuff um rosa stepped into that because she wants a way to she was told by a friend uh there might be a way to remove her powers so because obviously a lot of the people who uh whose consciousnesses got pulled into it uh were from the village we are in a manifestation of uh castle dimitrescu um so not Really? But yes, I guess we are. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, it's wild. It, it all got very wild. <laughs> now comes the real fun. The perfect place for your demise. <laughs> Let the show begin! You're kidding! I have to fight him! Oh, shit! It's even uglier now! Right, it's right up behind us, and I think there's nothing I can actually do to uh, really fight against it. Let me try some pipe bombs on it. I 
I guess. I can't imagine our, our special power will slow it down. It might. It might, to be fair. Holy hell. Okay. Oh, he's... Uh... Our little herb here. I thought you'd be more of a fighter. <laughs> run, 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 run. Thought you'd be more of a fighter. You're standing right in front of it. What's, what's the chat? The camera. I don't think that would work. Oh no. Again, have I? The second time. Oh wow! Have I really got a? I thought. <laughs> I thought that was it. Oh my god! Welcome back, uh, Ray. Um. Uh. Yeah. So we don't know. Uh. Cage. Um. Because we didn't really un we didn't really understand the Duke's possession uh, position and his relationship with Miranda. We know that he was seen to he seemed to be earnestly trying to help Ethan for his own ends, presumably. But we don't really know, do we? Um, although <sighs> when uh, Chris blew up the Mega Mice. I assume he was like, "Yeah, anything in two mile radius is gonna be eaten." So I'm inclined to believe the Duke died in that explosion, and that his consciousness was drawn into this place. Now, apparently, he doesn't remember his. He doesn't have any memories. We found a note of him, and he's like, "Oh, I just have this desire to, you know, be a sadist." Um. So he's like, yes, it's the Duke, but he doesn't under he doesn't remember being the Duke. He doesn't know who he is or what he is. He's just like, oh, oh, some some little girls to harass and be mean to and kill and torture. Ooh, ooh, how exciting! Um, which obviously we didn't see that side of the Duke uh, in his uh, in re the real world, but I don't know. So we don't really know. Um, work drama. Ah, oh, Root, if you need me to step in. Now, I can't help with the work side, but I can help with the, the having a word with people side. But yeah, I do I do offer that earnestly to everyone, but having some random crazy weirdo, like talk, you know, have a go at your colleagues, that, that's probably going to make, actually make things worse for yourself, not actually solve anything. But, you know, the offer's there. Okay, so I thought we'd done this boss fight, but... Fire your Whoa! Okay, I'm... Oh, wait. We... Real 
Whoa, 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 whoa. This is uh, a bit of an issue. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, wait. That... If it's gonna have like uh, another spot on him, open up. Insipid fight I've ever seen! Speak for yourself, bro. You sat out there doing nothing. Um. You call this a show? That's the big boy guy. Don't let her get away with that. That's the big boy, I think. Another special power. Take this. Yeah, no doubt. Wrong. Oh, whoa. Try this out. What the hell? Oh. Was I too slow there? Oh no. Oh, 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 what the f What the hell? What the hell? Alright, okay. This is pretty intense. Thing. Useless creature! Such a disappointment! <sighs> no matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. Oh, not more. Oh my god. <laughs> Relentless! Oh! Yeah, if you want me to, Root, get me in on the call now. Um, yeah, you're about to find out, yeah, Root. <laughs> um, so, so, so somebody, one of your colleagues wanted to do a thing. The boss or the group said no, and they're having a massive old squinny about it to the degree where if they don't check themselves, they might be losing their job because they need to settle down. Some people are just entitled, Root. If you want me to s step in, let, you know, I'm, seriously, I'll have a word if you want me to. Obviously, I need a bit of context. All right, we're running away, are we? Okay. Right. 
Let's trust Dad. He's, he's helped us so far. Just go for it. He's, he's, he's helped us out so far, hasn't he? Craziness. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a fun boss fight. It was uh, tricky enough. Oh, we're in the uh, the village now. Where am I now? Oh, we're heading to uh, deep deeper stratum. stratum. Harder to escape. Need to leave while you can. I don't want to leave. Not until I find that crystal. I'm tired of being a freak. I want to have friends. No. I want to live a normal life. Bless her. She doesn't understand. The thing is, Rose, everybody's a freak. And there's no such thing as normal. And even if there was, it's not a thing you should really actually desire. Bless her. She doesn't know. She's, she's a youngster. Without this curse. The curse of spe magic mushroom that powers. You Rose, you're literally making Mario cry. Mario's weeping in the depths of his soul. She no wanted the mushroom powers. Oh, mamma mia. He's, he's dying inside right now, is Mario, from what you're saying here, Rose. God damn it. Fine Crystal can make that happen. Make me normal. And I'm not going back until I find it. Yeah, so? Yeah, got it from your dad. All right, then. All right, well, I guess we're not going uh, back this way, are we? All right, okay, let's run down our uh, ammo a little bit. Well, uh, we, do, we can craft some. We've got plenty. I'll say plenty. A reasonable amount of supplies. Let's, uh, Guess there's no going back now. Let's uh, do with that as and when we can. I know where the crystal is. What's this? It's the monkey. That's your favourite friend, isn't it? Just maybe she doesn't remember. Maybe that maybe those monkeys were lost and she just doesn't remember having them. Slightly creepy. Will you be my friend? Sure. Unless this is you, you, you is trapped in here, Donna. Then no. That being said, um, her. Donna's daughter, Claudia, whose grave this is, um, died in this in this area, in close proximity to the mutant, you know, uh, Megamycete. So, this could be. I swear I've seen these monkeys before, but what the hell? Yes, yeah, so this could be uh, Claudia. And not Donna, who's trying to talk to us. Maybe she's going to meet her other... Uh, uh, Rose is going to meet her alter ego, that giant baby thing. <laughs> what's wrong? Yes, well, stay away from the spoilers, Red Mage. Don't, don't be paying attention. Okay. Oh, I've missed that. Someone trying to... What? Oh. Something seems different. Yeah, you're in a different elevator. Oh. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, welcome, Rose. 
the, the, the baby basement. And the, look at these giant monkeys. Oh my god. Pretty cool. Alright, January 5th. Oh, okay. Here we go. Today was my first day of school. I've always wanted to go. I want to give Chris a big hug. Oh, next time I see him. Oh, maybe this is uh, Rosa's. Uh, there's so many kids my age. It's like I walked into a TV show or something. I was so scared when I had to introduce myself to the class. But I was still super duper excited to be there. I'm going to make so many friends. I'm going to try and talk to them tomorrow. 8th of January. I tried to be brave and talk to some other kids. But nobody wants to talk to me. Schoolwork is super easy. It's all stuff I learned with mummy. But uh, I guess I shouldn't answer all the teacher's questions. The boy behind me said something really mean. Well, that boy can jog on. My hands go icky with white sweat when I panic. It was really bad today. February 10th. Today the teacher yelled at me for always carrying my hanky. She says I'm not a baby anymore. Uh, the boys at school keep saying I'm icky. Well, I take a bath every night, always wear clean clothes, and bring a fresh hanky every day. It's because of the stupid white sweat. Whenever it starts coming out of my hands, I'll wipe it off right away. But sometimes it won't wipe off. So I just hold my hanky really tight. Chris even told the teacher it can't get anyone sick, but it didn't change anything. April 4th. Someone finally talked to me. Lucy from my class said she always wanted to be friends. We're going to have lunch together tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I hope Lucy's friend Catherine will be my friend too. This is... Yours. Okay, so that was the only thing. Uh, as, uh, and she gets... So Rosa's sweat is a bit like, you know, a bit on the opaque side. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the extent of it. It could be worse. I mean... Come on, kids. Don't be assholes. You think Chris would be able to get into, like, a special school as well? Why something. is there a picture of me? Um. It's where you belong now. <laughs> hmm. All the monkeys. We've got cake as well. Although I don't know what that is. That's just like uh meat. And there's this fruit and veg don't look too healthy. And in fact the cake who's put this cake together? That's kind of you know, that's a bit crappy as cakes go. But we don't care about any of that. The crystal's right here, but there's no way to get it. Oh dear. Here we go again. my stuff oh okay we're doing some of this again are we oh here we go so we're performing uh, an autopsy on uh, monkey are we the stomach's been stitched up there's something inside mr monkey has a tummy ache he might give you the crystal if you help him okay so sim this yeah it's similar uh, to the uh the first game, isn't it? I mean, the first game. The uh, the main game. This The Beneviento section. Okay, so we can go back the way we came, but... <coughs> it's presumably not going to do much for us. Jimmy's room. Ooh, Jimmy. Who is Jimmy? Yeah, there's any need for that to be tapped to be honest. Huh? best not to draw on the walls, I would think, but... 
It's uh, interesting. My uh, a couple of my cousins, um, on my dad's side of the family. I don't remember why or for what reason. I don't, and I don't really know. I didn't really necessarily spend so much time with them or get on with them too well. But uh, the parents were cool. Um, they used to draw on the walls in their house like this. And the uh, my aunt and uncle were just basically okay with them doing it. Uh, it seemed real weird. I don't know what the, the deal with that was. Because I would have got freaking beat if I'd even thought to do anything like that. <laughs> Uh, oh, dang. That's not good. Oh, yeah. We need scissors to cut open Mr. Monkey. Uh, the stuffed locker, the picture on the bookshelf, the desk covered in stuff. Okay. Forty-four. Oh, two. Oh. Uh -huh. Sixty-six. Right. Okay. So we got the code. But let me check the uh. Order again. Locker, picture, desk. Zero two four four six six. Yeah, okay. Zero two four four six six. I'm just going to get some scissors to uh, perform some surgery. Wow, that's only slightly what disturbing. Oh, sorry, Mr. Monkey. Oh, you... you won't get the crystal by slicing open your friend. Slice open you in a minute. Oh, no. Huh? Oh, no, Mr. Monkey, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Uh, you know how to play with dolls, don't you? Oh. Again? What now? All right, Lucy. Doesn't say. Okay, some kind of little diorama here. The names are legible. The names are legible. Okay. Although, I have little st sticks next to them. They seem to be the same. Just a little bundle of sticks. It's got a place a Lucy, two unknowns, and one unnamed there. Okay. Uh, but you can find all kind. But you can find all kinds of places to play with this doll and her friends. Doll pose number one, Lucy. She's labelled Lucy. Okay. So you oh. want me to play with dolls? Lucy and Catherine there. Maybe that unlocks. Uh, I was getting the extra doll there. Seems, seems like that might be a thing. Okay, we found Lucy. We'll find somebody else. Right, 
This is still Jimmy's room. Still no way to get in there. Someone really went all out. Okay, well, let's stick that in there. Welcome back, uh, Af. Don't apologise. We're just playing with dolls at the minute. What we got here? No one wants to be our friend. What a loser. Hey, jog on. Don't be talking like that. Right, okay. What's, what's, what's the name? Wow, lovely. Lovely. Uh, there you go. Uh, oh, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Oh, I'll be your friend, Catherine. I don't know what... People are being nasty about, you know, T4. No reason. Okay, I want to head that way. Oh, I don't specifically. I just want to see if anything new has popped up. We had that uh, change there. No, okay. All right, so we take um, Lucy and Catherine back into the uh, examination room and set them in an appropriate position to. Whoa. Um. Mom, is that you? It is. Oh, that. Sat there like that. <laughs> uh, freaky, right. There we go. To replace Lucy there. And replace Catherine here. Yeah, well, they're attacking her with the broom. And, and like, cleaning chemicals. That's awful. Lucy and Catherine yeah, might be yeah, assholes. Fuck you. <laughs> Jimmy's room. Okay, well I'll come back for those two. And actually, I mean, I'm all on me. I might as well get them. There we go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Root. Really, you just go around the corner. It's just stood there like that. You're like, come on, give me a break. Horrifying, really. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. I don't want to head down here. Yeah, yeah seemingly. Seemingly did, didn't he? There we go. Who's this? Who's this fellow? This is so creepy. Both of his arms are out as if holding something. It was at the bottom of well in Jimmy's room. So I can. I'm going to assume that this is the Jimmy doll, or. You know, is it belongs to Jimmy, even if the doll's not named Jimmy. Maybe his, his pose is of more importance than uh, he himself. We shall see. God damn it, Mum! Away. I was thinking, I don't know what, was, what happened to Rose's mum, to Mia. She was fine, so she, she I mean, that doll is obviously part of uh, the doll of her. Could, you know, because that was in, obviously, uh, Ethan's consciousness. Um, right, so we've got three dolls now, so we head back this way. Prepare for the doll to be around the corner. 
Or when we come back. Right, here we go. That's crossed out. We've got... So it's holding a long stick. That one's pointing. And that one's holding... So that is a present there. Long stick. Oh, yeah. What are they doing? Yeah. Oh, good. There we go. So, uh... Got me Jimmy. He's like, here you go. Have the present. Long stick. Want to dump some crap on your head. And, uh, pointing and laughing. Because they're awful human beings. And that goes our fourth doll. Black haired doll. Okay. Uh, girl doll with long black hair. It's clearly uh, more cheaply made than the other dolls. Okay. Right. You guys coming back with us? Back to the main room. That should allow us to do the final di diorama. Look out for Mia, the doll. Once we are in this corner. Oh, no, okay. Still got me there. <laughs> Mum the mannequin, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, still got me. <laughs> I was watching out for her. I was like, oh, she's not here. I double bluffed myself. Anyway. And now she's getting crucified. My God. Right, okay. So, uh, here we go. So, carrying stick. Oh, no, she did burn her on a pyre, aren't they? Sorry, I was trying to get that one first. Right, so that's carrying a bunch of sticks. That's got to be Jimmy, right? Carrying your sticks there, buddy? Yep. I'm going to guess that this is uh, this one. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, kind of. All right, yeah, yeah. Place on some sticks. And this is obviously Lucy. Could probably work that one out anyway. With a big stick. And then our new new doll. You can just stand there and watch. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Seriously. Fuck you. Sounds like Whitney and Mannequin. <laughs> Is it? Let's have a word. Jeez, bros, you're still looking for the crystal? Yes. Fine. I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. What? Who are you? Yeah, I'm guessing it's Claudia. I don't know. You know, she died young. She was like 11 years old or something when she died. Okay, so heading up to the elevator. Breaker box key. Okay. Okay, map for the fuse. Oh, oh god, okay. Right, through the study, around the outside of the kitchen, into the bedroom. Not right, yeah, so down this corridor here. It should be around here somewhere. Don't look away. I mean... We shall see. Oh my god, it's like this, is it? If we turn around, she's gonna she's gonna be behind us, isn't she? This is horrifying. Whoa! That is only slightly disturbing. Oh 
my god, the intensity. Now, all the time we're looking at her, though, she can't get us, presumably. Unless we touch her, even if we're looking at her, that would be an issue. I'm going gonna, gonna to need to look away for a second, aren't I? As we uh, back down this corridor. God, the animation on that, the movement on it, they have done they have done a number on that, haven't they? They've done a talk about doing a good job, Capcom. Yes, yeah, so me too, Rue. Me too. Thank send your regards to Capcom. <laughs> and of course, as soon as we round a corner, we're not looking at it. So uh It's obviously where it's immediately moving after us, like it's gonna do now as so we walk away from it. So be be prepared. Watch, watch it go. Horrifying. <laughs> and I think, yeah, uh, we're, let me just, I better check her. Yeah. Um, down this corridor here to the end. Yes, yeah, so the kitchen should be there. So the bedroom's over this way. Okay. Jargon, 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 jargon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What were they even thinking? What are they trying? What are they trying to do to us, Root? Why well, be like that? We've just we've been cool, right? We've been cool up to this point. We're not we're not causing any grief for anyone. The eyes, not the eyes. <laughs> I should uh, probably kind of uh, maybe run for it a little bit, and then uh, meet, make sure I turn around. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. Jog on, mummy. Jog on. No, we don't like you. Don't, 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 don't feel bad about it. Okay, she ha yeah, because it's blocked off. We have to go through the kitchen. Oh, my God. Oh, she's going this way. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's no longer blocked off. It's about visualise the horror. God, good job. Good job on them. That, uh, uh, that's... That is, could have... They could have put that in the, um... In the main game. That would have been excellently scary. So good job on them doing that. Oh, seriously? Jesus Christ! Fuck my life! <laughs> what are they doing to us? What are they trying to do? Trying to induce a response, and they are—they are achieving that. So we've just got to go back the way we came. But um, how are we getting around, though? I'm not sure. Let me risk trying to get close to her. Jog right on, mother. Okay. Got oh, shh. She's got one behind us. There's another one behind us. This is just a fake one. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Root, no doubt. Well, if we catch up with, if it is Claudia, we're gonna have to elbow to the face. Yeah, he's gonna start running her mouth. We're gonna bang. So is this what one behind us? This must be a fake because I wasn't looking at it. It wasn't attacking us. Hopefully, must be surely. Oh, no, is the answer to that? Doubled up on us. I assume that's going to dead at us, isn't it? Because, cover your eyes and ears and look away for a minute, folks. It's going to be horrible, I don't doubt. Okay. Holy hell. Yeah, who thinks up this stuff? Okay, at least we have... Uh... I don't know what's going on. 
least. way. Uh, oh, this is so gross. This is just like, this is, this is night, this stuff from nightmares, isn't it? Like, like, really? Like, really, really? Okay, there's our extra one there. Oh, this, oh look at them both! Thank <laughs> you! I have to just walk. I've got to keep an eye, like half an eye in the back of our heads if there's like a third one. <laughs> yeah, this little kid. Yeah, the shins are getting destroyed. Uh, I guess technically it'd be better to backtrack the way we came from. Oh, fuck you. There's three of them now. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you doing to us? Oh, it's warm here. No, mommy. Oh. oh, come on, life. Okay, I'll have to think about that. I guess maybe we maybe we activate the third one. Oh, I don't know if we can get around the other one, though. In, uh, number three. A, a four, was that a fourth one? Or I don't know. Oh, my God, this is horrifying. Truly horrifying. I'd love to see Slight play this. <laughs> Truly disturbing. <laughs> Far more nightmarish than anything else we've first seen in this game up to uh, at this point. This you this would f truly feel like hell if you were in this situation. Oh! I don't know. I guess I bumped into her. Never mind. Okay, try again. Ugh. Yeah, so I don't think the other one had the time to go the way around. So I think, disturbingly enough. Okay, actually, I think I would maybe just need to run for it and get through that door into the study as quickly as possible. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I cocked up that, uh, that one there. Jesus Christ! Unless, um... No, because we're always walking quite slowly, so we don't uh, really... Like, I was going to say, if I kited her into, further into this room here, wouldn't actually make any difference. So by that point, she'd be back at, uh, caught up with us anyway. You're very, very, uh... Very clever of Capcom to come up with something this... Utterly disturbing. I wonder if I... Okay, special powers, mushroom powers aren't going to do anything. Okay, so I think I want to... Oh! Seriously? It's... First time I went through there, I kind of went quite slowly, so I don't think it's a timed thing. Jesus Christ! Oh, 
I don't want it, Mother. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm just going to straight down. I'm, trying, I'm just angled to the uh, left-hand side of the, uh, the wall here. Yeah, okay. I don't think you can get past her. I think you do have to, in fact, go this way. So I think there must be a fourth one, essentially. Um... So I want to run, I want to turn and run as fast as I can down into the study and get through that door before we get sandwiched in. What do I want to do? Okay. Let's give our best shot. Mother, mother, leave me alone, mother. Okay, well, f f I think we're after in the A, basically. I don't. I got. I got. Well, seemingly, I got there a bit too quickly. Yeah, the four of them. Look at their freaking eyes. And now I don't think I. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> it just whacks me. I just stood there too long. <laughs> my god. Okay. Now, now there's four. Well, I think this is. This has got to be the way we've got to go. I don't want to stuff myself in that corner though. Okay. I think also I've got enough time, I think, to get a proper um run into that room. Jesus Christ. I understand why they've maybe put this in third person now. I feel that this doesn't make doing a section like this is probably easier in third person. You've got slightly more spatial awareness. So horrifying. Yeah, it's awful, Root. This is really awful, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, so they're kind of like slow enough. Right, okay, so I need to run into that the study. Um get in down the opposite the, the wall. Right, that's not straight across, hook a left as soon as I get in the room. Then immediately turn around, look into the room, and that hopefully should be enough. Okay, let's go. Ready? Go. It's the noise they make when they're running though. It's uh Oh my god. I went in a bit here too quickly, didn't I? I'm screwed again. Unless I can uh, kite them all. I think as soon as I look away from this one, though, I'm going to be grabbed again. Although... Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, I can't even get by this one now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. God, I think I got lucky here, folks. That could have been a lot worse. You foul abominations. Oh, my God. I'm, F, I'm glad you can't see anything. It's like wooden mannequin ladies that stomp after you. And when you look at them, they freeze. It's like that kid's game. Where you, as soon as you turn around, they're stomp, 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 stomping after you. Ugh! Horrifying. The, so the two scariest episodes of Doc 2 combined. My God, I don't know if i How are they individually? Demon mummies. Blech! Yeah. 
Okay, so I've just got to... Oh, jeez. I need to uh, get on this, I guess. Oh, shit. Why won't this thing work? This little kid. Why are you doing this? You're after the crystal, aren't you? Yes. Do you know where it is? <laughs> I've gathered some friends just for you. More friends? More f well, those, fr those, those four... Uh... <laughs> Four friends up there. We're not enough for, for friends for us. <laughs> Swing, thank you. Let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. The horror. Something about that, isn't there? Because if you take one of those uh, dummies, uh, wooden dummies, as an inanimate object, it's like whatever. Um, and then uh, if you think of like a ghost or some kind of spirit that you can't see, that um, you know, somewhat scary, but the fact that you can't see it is kind of takes the edge off a little bit, I feel. Um, like if it's just there, but it's not really doing much. But if you take a ghost and stick it in one of those things, so it's like stomping around, it's like magnified it's like <laughs> uh great in the sum of its parts so that's exemplifies that i would uh be so disturbed by one of those angels these angels in doctor who god doctor who's gone to some strange places since i was watching it Thank you, Sphinx. Entertain him, and maybe I'll tell. You want me to entertain some more friends? No, I don't want to do that. Give me my, give me my shotgun back, and I'll entertain her if you like. What is going on here? Wow, okay. See, these dolls... Okay, we've shrunk down to doll size. Okay, this is kind of cool. These dolls are nowhere near as scary. I'm waiting for you in the back bedroom. Still slightly creepy, but... Not as creepy. Let's play hide and seek. Can you make it all the way here without getting caught? Oh, we're going to get caught again. I don't know. Can we? I'm going to try. I don't know who's trying, who, who or what is trying to catch us, though. That's the issue. Okay, they're on a little circuit, are they? Let's stay away from them when they're on their little circuit, I guess. Come around again. Oh. oh no, they're just wandering around. Oh jeez. This is rather disturbing. <laughs> Not as. Can't let them see me. Okay, guess they're just a spotlight I've got to avoid. Blades on his back. I guess I should keep heading this way. I guess. Oh. <laughs> 
Just goes backwards and forwards. Uh, I don't want to touch them or get like right up behind them. I think well, that's the best thing to do. Okay, I can hide here. I've got to get over in that corner to do that uh, explosion. Okay, this is this is cool, but uh, kind of scary. Not as scary though. Take your friends and jog on, because I'm not really uh, not really feeling them. Is that one close enough? There we go. Guy. So many. If they see me, I'm toast. There's got to be something I can do. These ones are not moving. Okay. Tell a lie. They weren't moving. Oh, these two. Yeah, these two in the corner are not. So there's no way I can get by them. Get round there. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Whoosh. Okay, there we go. There's one. Uh, no. Go around the other side of this one. Okay. Cool. I'm actually surprised they haven't got me yet. To be honest. Oh, a fresh hell. You know what happens to it all. Oh no! Get punished. It's big, mommy. Yeah, we are tiny. It just doesn't appear that way. Oh my god. Akuma. 
Um, no, it's kind of complicated. This isn't the real world we're in. This is some kind of mushroom trip, fictionalized dream world. Okay, all I can do right now is just pray that she doesn't look down here because there's nowhere for me to go. Okay, we've got some uh, herbage there. Now, what we're using this herbage for, I don't know. Oh. Oh, sh Okay. Oh, sh oh, okay. oh, wait. Are we... I thought that would mean I was dead. No, apparently not. Okay. I've no heals, though. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be clever and uh, go under the spotlight. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to be using my uh, powers there to do something to it, stun it or something. I don't know, but we are kind of a bit crippled now. God, we can't be uh, running too quickly. Which, uh, it's kind of throwing a damp on the whole situation, but... Okay, got a bit of a free heal there. I think the bedroom is just over there. Um. Yeah, well, it's that way, isn't it? But. Okay, there's another one. Oh. Okay, I'll see. Found you. Oh. Shanky, oh. shanky, shanky, shanky. How disturbing. Uh. Okay. Maybe we got a decent checkpoint. I was doing all right up until the end there. Oh, I did. Nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bit too hasty there. Oh! <laughs> Way too hasty that time. Um, but how are you doing? Uh, are you alright, Koma? Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Oof. Oh no, mummy. Oh my god, glad to be after the A. <laughs> Where have you hidden yourself? Freaking nowhere. Is she coming all that area? I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. She's turning around. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Um, nice. I'm jelly. All I can assume is I need to use like a special power or something. Like stun one, maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can kill them. Or at least take them out of commission for a second. Where have you found you? No, you haven't. Okay, we're dead again. Okay, it take, gets rid of them for a sh uh, little bit. Okay. Yeah, Akuma's a cannibal, though, and just, you know, just a ge all around general wild man, isn't he? So. Oh. Found you. 
No, no, he didn't. Okay, I think I just wasn't quite quick enough on that. Okay, I just want to spawn mummy in before I hit uh, the little doll. Bloody thing. Here we go. Where have you hidden yourself? Where you at? There we go. Nice. <laughs> Going back, mommy. Good. God, intense. <gasps> CC's like pizza? Rose. I don't even know what that is, Ryan. That sounds good. What's your opinion on that route? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty strong in the stomach. I, 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 horror or grossness, I can't, you know. It doesn't bother me. I'll, maybe, well, maybe this is more about uh, my appetite. I don't. Hey, she's a freak. Hey, she has those creepy powers. Uh. Just like <laughs> Rose has the creepy powers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rose. Yeah, she's Dad, the one. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Shut up. You know it's true. What is wrong with her? She might turn into. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Mushroom out, Rose. Yeah, I don't know why I went that way. I should not have done that. <laughs> oh. Eight bucks all you can eat, and it used to be less than four back in the day. Eight bucks though, all you can eat pizza. Bro, they would be throwing me out of there. They would be like, you know, they'd be like, we're, we're, we're going to sue you. And I'm like, no, you said all you can eat. <clears throat> all we can eat pizza. I would, I would go hard. I would, like, not eat for a couple of days before I went. I'd be like, just so you know, I'm getting my money's worth. I'm the guy, you know, I don't, I don't even care if they're looking at me dirty. I'm like, this is scum. This is scum. He comes into all that, all you can eat pizza place and actually it intends to eat all he can eat. What a scumbag. I'd be like, fight me. After, you know, in a couple of days after I've digested this. Not now, because it's kind of not really a fair fight. It's not good. Okay, so it's like it's kind of so-so. It's it's yeah, it's so-so pizza. Still, um, quantity over quality, maybe as long as it's reasonable. Uh, Ryan, but I don't know. Maybe like average pizza to you, to me might be like amazing, or it might be terrible. I don't know. Probably not. I'm not picky. But anyway, let's do this properly now. Okay, straight. 
Dad. Bring him there. I can't take much more of this. Why are they Yeah, that's true, Af. That is true. Because most people um go, Oh, we can eat. How can you afford that? Not everyone is a glutton like me. Even those who have like a decent appetite soon get uh you know uh you know, soon become replete and sated. And they're like, Yeah, there we go. Like I don't know how much Ryan's eating. He, you know, he might be like, I've eaten two whole pizzas. Uh, I can't manage any more though, and that's like within the bounds of like the average. Um, but then, yeah, you, like you know, you get those. You're right after you get people like, oh, well, I suppose I'll have two slices. Um, but yeah, I'll, I would be the psycho who would go on his own, and I'm like, I'll just sit at the counter or wherever you know the closest seat in the house to where the pizza has been made, and just be like, just just keep bringing it. Like, no, you're banned. What the... F I, don't know I guess it's a private business. They can just ban you. You can't... There's no real recourse, is there? Um, But I'd be like... I'm, I'm taking social media, by the way. I'm telling them that you're scum and you're liars. <laughs> um, Seriously, I don't know. I, I, I would prepare for it. And uh, I, in my whole life, I have only ever met one other human being that could... uh go toe to toe with me in terms of amount of food physically eaten um and to be fair i'm out of practice nowadays and also to be fair um you know i might have met like you guys loads of you guys and other people that are just that that actual factor has never come to pass it's never come a conversation never been tested so it's not to say i haven't definitely but in terms of testing only one other human being is up there with me uh, and it's not to say he could necessarily beat me. Although, maybe push come to shove, he could have beaten me. Uh, Metapod says that he's quite seriously up there. And I'm inclined to believe him as well. But, um... Seventeen slices deep. Ryan. Good on you, sir. Now, I... Uh, uh, although a slice is subjective isn't it because one are these eight slice pizzas six slice pizzas uh more um and also we don't know how big the pizzas are you know um so a slice could be like as big as my head or a slice could be like a, a you know a little thing like a tiny little triangle thing um but either way that's still 17 even if we're talking like the bare minimum small amount Good on you, Ryan. As long as I respect you, sir. I'll treat you well. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, for three slots. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? But if it's like, uh, if it's like super high quality pizza, you could be paying like, and they're large. You could be paying eight dollars for three slices anyway. So, good on you. Tear it up, Ryan. Um, it's against your religion to serve Twitch streamers. What well, ser serve what? Pizza, or what you usually serve up. It was ironic. The buffet at the casino on Thanksgiving. It was because no thanks was given. That's why it was ironic. I'm sorry to hear that. Af. They talking about my dad. <clears throat> Never even met him. No, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he have taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Yes, sir. But he have been there for me, proud of me. Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, 
try to imagine what he might have said to me. feels familiar, like I've been here before. Look at all the decorations. Some yes, kind of drives. party? I'm never need to, uh... Upstairs? I'll take a look. Let's uh, look around other stuff first. To do, decorate the living room. Done. Get wine. Put in dining room. Yep. Where's the other present in study? Hidden. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things... Also have my dad's memories. Jeez, what is what is this food here? Is that all sorts of meats and cheese? Damn, I'm getting hungry. Um, she bangs <clears> her <throat> spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if dad played any instruments. I think the only instrument your dad played was the shotgun, but I could be mistaken. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I mean, I guess I've always loved fruit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> depending on the options. Fruit is uh, one of the best things to eat, really, isn't it? Okay, we need to go to the bathroom. Okay, this is a uh, parent room. Ethan, don't forget, Rose's half birthday is on the second. Her half birthday. Uh, pa parents, you count half birthdays when your kids are like real little. I don't know if that's a thing. Um. <clears throat> yeah, charcuterie board. Yeah. We just got a cheese board over here, I guess. Yeah, the cell. I like the cell. That's, uh, yeah, d yeah, d deeply more disturbing. Although, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, uh, I'm going to make it amazing, I'm going to make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. Uh, obviously. In fact, I'm going to make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures, uh, for our family album. Okay. I haven't seen mom in ages. Well, maybe you should have. Okay, she's present. I I know, she's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. It's just a, a big fluffy die. <laughs> okay, cool. Why not? <laughs> Why not? This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Is 
This is my bedroom. Well, <laughs> she's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. But yes, we all started as babies once she's time. already growing out of these onesies. I can't believe I was ever this tiny. Oh, okay. Something to unlock that drawer, I guess. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. Cool. Key. Uh, February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. <laughs> half year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment. These feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it. So it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favorite photo. Okay. <clears throat> a letter for me. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh my god. Um Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Even the mushroom I'll be kingdom. There every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast. <laughs> And walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. Well, fuck no. off, Claudia. <gasps> This is supposed to be like Evelyn because she's more <laughs> in intrinsically linked. Guess. His gift was lies. <laughs> My gift to you, daughter, is bullshit. Um. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Root. Exactly. Thing you're looking for isn't here. <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> There's probably no such thing, is there? Of course not. <laughs> for that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one can I sit here? loves you. Uh, Billy Michaels. Yeah, of course you can. Thank you for following, buddy. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Now you're drowned. Okay. You need to get out of this house. I clean first. First? To you. Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Speak for yourself. Seriously, what is your problem? Got aim for a shin, shin's root. We're gonna... Just so greedy. 
Oh. Oh no. Ow. So many friends that it's never oh, enough. I don't know if I heal for a minute. Oh, look. Your families. Enough of this shit! Die! Die! You die? Oh. Do I? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, God, all the mummy dogs. Oh, my God. Yo! Mirage, how you doing? Here's Amber. Figure this out. But yeah, welcome to the horror. I've got to uh, first. Say you missed the scary parts, first. but you might have uh, stumbled into a more scary part. I don't know. <laughs> what? Does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond! You just woke up. Oh my god. Well, uh. Seriously, what is your problem? <laughs> I don't want to ruin your morning, Raj. <laughs> just so greedy. Oh, there we go. So many friends that it's never enough. Okay, I think I was supposed to uh, use a uh, herb there. I'm trying to examine it. I'm trying to. It's because we were caught in the goo, maybe. Yeah, just guess we need it. Where do you think you are? Oh, look! Your families! Oh! Stop <laughs> this shit! Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be running from them, am I? Oh, my God. Won't excellent. <laughs> just this is this game is uh, horrifying. Now yes, the other seems to be really good. I came first. First? What? Does she only want you? What are you ta yeah, but, uh, talking about? Pop one less. Okay, I think I need to hit the little dollies that come flying out. Look at you. you are beyond. I don't know what I'm supposed to, be able to do about the Seriously, the big mummy dolls, but looking at them seriously obviously doesn't put them off, does it? Like it did before. Just so greedy, so many friends that it's never enough. I don't want to look at the family. Family's awful. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm just got to be quick about it. There we go. There we go. Should chance. Jog on. They were supposed to die and join me here. You're a little bitch. No! What? No. Stop it! How are you even here? Michael! Good, you made it out. Be careful. <laughs> We're not safe yet. No, no, no doubt. No doubt. Oh my God. Um, I was waiting for an appropriate break in the action to go and um, make coffee. This time's getting on. We'll keep going for a second. Evelyn. Yeah, that bitch. That little girl. Still can't get out. You 
Use your powers on her. You can help when she's weak. Okay, we can do that. All right, fight Evelyn. Oh, this should help. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I've got an extra, uh, extra point. Although that did mean I kind of ended up wasting our little herb because that gave us a refresher there. So the, the herb we previously got was completely wasted. That's a bummer. Never mind. This what it is. Okay. Uh, on that, on that. Was, yeah, sorry, you've just uh, stopped in there, uh, Mirage. But I'm just going to. Uh, I'm gonna take three minutes real quick while I make coffee, uh, and then we'll um we'll get right back on this. Interesting DLC though. All right, um, be right back.
All right, sorry about that, folks. We are sorted now, though. Let's time over a little bit later than usual, taking that break, but uh, so be it. It's all good. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, anyway, Marge, sorry to run away from you there for a second, buddy. I hope you're looking after yourself, sir, and that life is going well, or at least not shit. Um, right. Let's, uh, Evelyn, what are looking for you? Don't panic, you got this. I'm not panicking. I'll blast her with our, uh... You will never, 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 never. I have been such a good girl. No, not really, you haven't. Oh, what, this way? Oh. A I wonder if she's, uh. He was, yeah, telling us to go somewhere. Oh, I don't think so. We're just supposed to be fighting us. Yeah. Completely obsessed with stupid old roads. Um. If you've never been born, it would have been perfect! Yeah, I don't know, um. Okay, am I supposed to be like taking cover or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing much, really. Use now magical power. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. I'm just tr trying to figure out what the. Never Go back. Yeah, this way. Wait for. Oh, wait for an opening. I have been such a good girl. Okay. Oh, okay, I wasn't in range. I'll see. Okay. She's not done. Be careful. Guys, we were supposed to be a family. Oh. We've been completely obsessed with stupid old roads. Oh, okay. Okay. I think it's um, okay. So we gotta avoid the initial blast. If you've never been born, it would have been perfect. And then she's immediately gone. This is stupid. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm getting the the actual hang of this. Honestly. But yeah, you gotta avoid our initial blast. Okay. But then she disappears. You're worthless. No escape. And then if I just go for it, she just knocks us over. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, folks. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and then she disappears. I have no idea. You're nothing. Okay, I don't, I don't really know. Die here! Just fudging our way through it. Watch your step. Yeah, no doubt. I came for you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, maybe you got to just avoid her until she does a uh, triple tap. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Go away! Oh. Does she want me? Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Okay. 
Oh, right, I see there. Well, I think it's going to be too late now. What is wrong with me? Yeah, we can escape. We're just working out what to do. Okay. Let's try again. Been perfect. This is stupid! Speak for yourself. Okay. Die here. No. I was special. Kind of. But it doesn't really matter if you're a bitch. We'll see. Go away. Oh. You're worthless. Oh. That's poorly timed, obviously. Oh. No escape. <laughs> Say useless, no but no one loves me. don't feel sorry for her. Kick her on the shin. What now? Back this is all your fault. Nice not. <laughs> Classic victim mentality. It's it's not my fault. It's your fault. I don't even know you. But you're the closest person who's not me, so shut out. <laughs> shut up, Evelyn, you little bitch. And I will never let you have what you... <laughs> Evelyn, teenage daughter simulator. <laughs> I, I can't speak to that, but I'll take your word for it. Close, look out! <laughs> don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Cheers, Dad. Damn. The thing is, is it? It's it's just his memories, though. So it's not really Ethan who's in there, right? It's like it's not really Evelyn who's in there. It's just a, some weird manifestation of them. I don't, I don't Michael? I don't know if it matters at this point. Are you there? She's not twigged. <laughs> Maybe not supposed... I don't know. I guess... 
I just assumed that as soon as that we saw that writing, I was like, oh, that's your dad. Based on what we've previously been told. Uh, it just seemed very obvious, but maybe, I don't know. It's obviously not to her. Oh, look out! I mean, that's just dawning on her, finally. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> but he didn't make it. That voice. Yeah. My dad's voice. Why did Michael have my dad's voice? Is Michael. <laughs> my dad. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. I don't know what you think, Rose. Do you think he? Do you think he is? Because of him. I can keep going. Yes, this is true. I have to find that crystal. No, it's true. We it's, this is true, Rue. We don't actually know, and in the, in the universe I'm of Resident Evil own. as well, and it's like but anything I have goes. To keep going. Honestly, there's no there's no like definitive anything. So oh, there we go. Did it so. Have we got our? Oh, we got our stuff back as well. Okay, nice. Of what it's worth, our guns and a tiny amount of ammo. Okay. What's all this doing out here? Uh, maybe the house exploded. Hey, it's got some bullets. Nice. Hey. The house, the castle. It's all worse. All worse. yeah, Inceptiony, anyway, isn't it? All relative. Go. Oh. oh Where geez. Where the hell am I? What is this place? That's sli only slightly disturbing. What is that? I can sense something from over there. We should head there and we should use your powers on it. I should find some lichens on the way, I don't know. Or, or your dad? What? Probably gonna have some, uh... A fight is ahead of us, so we still need to be looking around for uh, items and such. Yo, Wolf, how's it going, boy? Are you are you right? Yeah, this is true. This is true, Root. We don't actually know, do we? So we shouldn't make assumptions. Just like in the castle. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm supposed to be uh, fighting these guys. Okay, they're not crazily tough. Okay, I feel like maybe I could either run, have run past them or. I'll definitely waste a couple of bullets there, but whatever. I'll try running from away from these ones. That's what we're going for.
Can't trust a man made out of birds. Yeah, I mean. Is this where those copies of me came from? Oh damn, all the bullets. Someone's been here. Uh, the Megamycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. Here we go, might have learned something there, Root. Uh, it seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. Although, you know, we don't have no reason to believe this is true, or who wrote this. But you're doing good, are you, Wolf? I am pleased to hear that, sir. Um, the memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. No, shit, Sherlock. Uh... <laughs> Only those who are attuned to the mutamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. Now, what does attuned mean? I assume that means part of it. Hence why... So, I guess that is... So, Evelyn uh, and uh, her dad, Ethan. Rosa's dad, Ethan, not Evelyn's dad, Ethan. Uh, that is... In, in essence, that is really them. Because they've they are... Uh, retain their memory so th that explains the duke the duke doesn't know he woke up and he was like oh what am i i'm some weird sadist um so he was not a ch he was not part of the uh my seat so why what was going on with the duke why could he teleport and why is he so like kind of big and fat he wasn't just some big fat guy he was like some kind of weird giant wasn't he um i don't know uh, this aligns my understanding of the Mega Mycie as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Okay, this is going to be presumably then this is uh, Ethan wrote this, you know? Uh, yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Mega Mycie. And yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, uh, maybe not Ethan, have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. Uh, Miranda, maybe? Um, the memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Mega My Seat, uh, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from Mr. Rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. Right, so this is obviously Miranda's written this. Um, or what's left of her. So she's trying to create fake roses for her own daughter. Which she's banging on about at the end of uh, end of the the end the, uh, the main game, wasn't she? Damn shotgun rounds. Okay, let's reload here. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is, essentially, a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. One, the fact that Rose herself is still alive. Two, some other actor within this realm. Three, a flaw in my methods of production. Um, it's number one, isn't it? Um, and two, and also uh, probably three as well. Uh, none of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, where she, were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. 
When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. Ah, uh, hence why maybe she set the uh the the evil duke on them to scare them. Uh, this warrants more research. I think that my first cr first creation, the Mask Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. Interesting. So the fact that she wanted Rose to stumble in here, I wonder if but she, but this mushroom world has no contact with the outside world, so I don't know how maybe she should influence K into bringing anybody in here. I don't know. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time, could they? I have no idea. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. Hmm. I don't know about that, but... Instead, a new passion burns within her. I still have to extinguish it. Okay, well, we're not going out without a fight. I hope that is apparent. Okay, we're getting tooled up, aren't we, for the final, for the final battle here? The looks of it. be the crystal that pull i've been feeling is close but i just can't go any further i thought it made it i thought i had made it when i saw that blue light but no not quite if only i'd been braver faster stronger so close i was so close i'm almost there michael through here black god which lives in us and which we live create for us a new world as befits your will your dark consciousness holds for us a, a second grace a second sorry a second chance graciously offered and joyously accepted you drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth not to destroy, but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. This awesome. Twisted shit. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird, doesn't it? I feel like, yeah, I don't know, dark gods. I feel like, just go your own way. Just, you know, just go, go, go with no dark god than the dark god. I feel. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. But, you know, who am I to judge? Okay. It's going to remove your powers. Okay. And you can leave, apparently. I don't know. But do you really want your powers to be removed? Yay! I don't oh want God. to be special anymore. Is this what normal feels like? It's no such thing as normal. Bless her. Bless her little heart. <laughs> She's had it rough. <laughs> Miranda! <laughs> My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm 
so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? Uh. That yeah, who's Kay, anyway? was an illusion. <laughs> so Very you can't influence the real world, okay. Wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Nah, you're right. Uh, Rose, run! <sighs> Ethan, you pest! Go! <sighs> so, this time even he can manifest. He can't save you, Rose! Hurry! You can't escape! Cool, yeah, let's go down. Wow. Dad, wait, hold up. Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run. Run! thing is, Ethan Winters isn't actually her dad, though. He's just a lump of mold, is her dad. So I don't. Yeah, he seemed he seemed sus, didn't he, bro? <laughs> okay. Why didn't you tell Let's me go. who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? Because I'm not really your dad. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone, but I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! It's gonna be a fight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, you, you removed your powers. Rose, come on. I'm trying to use his powers away on me. From Stay away from my family! Rose, come on. Yeah. It's gotta be a fight, right? Because we are. The game gave us loads of ammo. It'd be kind of weird to give us all that ammo and then there no reason. You can't escape Rose. Ethan, persistent as always. Dad! Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you, but I need to know you're safe. So please, just Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. Gonna get all mushroom powers back. It's like a it's like a one up and uh and a and, and a size worry, increase mushroom in, into one mushroom. It's a red and a I've green got in one. This. You think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Um foolish. <laughs> oh, we've well, got mag you magical are on dodge. Throwing them away? I think they just might. Okay, we <laughs> I'm trying to use uh the mushroom power to uh have a popper but there's nothing oh jeez oh there we go you are but a vessel and even if you were to survive oh absorbing common projectiles you, you can save your father you oh. are of two different worlds it wasn't too much of an absorption was it Feel. This is okay. Oh, it's just a it's different block, isn't it? it is. There's no shields. Let's see this power. Yeah, I'm trying to show you. 
It's uh, it's not letting me in a minute. There we go. All right. There we go. Wretch, little girl. Guess we can have a shot on this. Oh. Don't resist. Sorry, that's up left stick and B. Oh. Okay. Random. There will be wailing and gnashing. Okay. Took so much to lure me, but you're Ow. incredible. <laughs> Literally, uh, oh. dodged into well, that. You will fall. Your time is. Oh, jeez. Oh, she is. That's what we're supposed to be doing Come! Be by my side! I cultivated this world within the Mega My Seat to resurrect my sweet dog. Oh. But no matter how many vessels I've had, none have the power to regenerate. That is why it must be you. You are the only one who can bring her back to. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will see the ring. You wretch! Do you still not see? There is no happy ending. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. Jeez. Oh, jeez. And you kill the only one who understands Always. It's the desire to want to be understood, isn't it? Oh. oh. I'm not really understanding this, uh, that weird plant there. I guess I got some damage there, seems like. Jeez, okay. Let's be doing it. Yeah, anyway, you're gonna let me use this? Oh, cutscene. Guess I didn't need to. Uh, Billy, how you doing there, buddy? Thank you for dropping that off for a minute ago. Um,. Yeah, it's, it, I don't need, I don't mind uh, not knowing that um, hit points. Uh, and surprisingly, you, in the mercenaries mode, you actually all the enemies have a hit point bar uh, route, and you can see how much damage you do in numbers, which is kind of crazy. Because um, it like helps you assist with because it's like so point focused is that mode. Um, I, I just like to know that I'm not wasting ammo, that I'm actually doing the right thing in the fight. That's all I like to know. It doesn't um, doesn't really worry me how far along we are, how little or how much damage we're doing. But is this it? Is that it? Have we, have we done it? Over here, Dad. Not quite. Use this. Take her down. I love you, Rose. I know you're a flower, and I'm just a magic mushroom. But I'm your father, and I'm very proud of you. 
Spend a couple of episodes powering up. Now. Oh, I will. All right, what's going on now then? Return and yield your strength to me. Oh, there you go. Take that. Oh, so much power. You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva! Uh, I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. It's weird how they never it's show Ethan's so face well. properly. This is like a running gag. Hold on. Even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. Ah. Oh. Back. Yeah, it did a while, considering your dad's, you know, he's only like three years older than you. I'm back. And uh, also a mushroom. You bring things out from the mushroom lad if you uh if you uh believe enough. <laughs> You're Draco, how you doing, buddy? Um Yeah, no, it's, it was good. Is uh it was it was real good, uh Ron. I, I enjoyed it. Boy will be able to touch the moon. Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Oh, okay, so this was at the. Uh... Okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. This intro was actually the end of the game. Okay. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon would be able to Um, I mean, it's worth playing if you got it. I don't know how much it they're selling it for at the minute. Um, Draco, it's uh, it's fun. It's fun. Interesting uh, gameplay mechanics. A little bit of fighting. Not crazy. There's like one fighty. You've got a couple of fighty bosses. It's um. Yeah, you hey, know. Dad. It's uh, if if. Uh, Happy birthday. It's a good extension of the uh, you know the base game. Sorry, I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. 
stupid secret surface agent. I love you. All right. So she decided to. She kept her powers and then decided to go and work with Chris. I guess. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Yeah, why do you even joke like Don't that? Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of like, secret, super, you know, see, the man in black, super secret service agent like that makes crappy jokes. I don't, I don't know about that. And Chris it sense. doesn't know what I can do. He's some right, what a goober. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. You sort your life out, bro. This is weird, though. I need to keep it together. Yeah, Draco, do you know what I mean? Like, men in black, they don't make crack jokes just because it's. Oh, they're bored. I mean. What? You're a lot like him, you know? I know. Yeah, she can't look. She met him. Okay. I wonder if they'll uh, come back to Rose in the future, in future Resident Evil games. She's running around using her magic mushroom powers, maybe with teamed up with Chris, who's now in his uh, at least well six. Yeah, so yeah, Chris is in his early sixties now. I think he's like sixty-two years old, or what? Sixty-two, sixty-four, something like that. Well, this is happening, so you know. I mean, he's a bad man. He punches boulders all over the place, doesn't he? So. Um, there we go. Okay, that was cool. Yeah, enjoyed that. Uh, do we need to watch his credits? No. If there's any extra stuff, there you go. Uh, do you go? Two hours, 56. Okay, that seems reasonable. Uh, standard difficulty, of course. Challenges completed. Okay. Oh, you get more CP for just winning the DLC. Yeah, excellent. I wonder if there's new stuff in the, the, the shop as well. Only thir uh, 13,900, so not nothing too crazy interesting let's see, let's see um yeah no clearly not Ryan he's like I don't know I can't, I can't take, take that guy seriously um Yeah, so I, I, I don't know if I've even gotten to this, but yeah, you, maybe Ryan or anyone else can give me some ideas. So I got 143,000. What should I spend more points on? So the special weapons, I assume this is... So that's um, that's Chris's uh, pistol, handgun, and uh, rifle, isn't it? Um, which you use at the end of the game. Um, and presumably, yeah, you can buy those from the Duke. So that just unlocks them for purchase. Um, that... The WCX. A short barreled assault rifle. So how does that compare to the Dragoon? Is one better than the other? It looks like the it looks like the Dragoon has a silencer. Uh and it looks like the WCX uh has a uh has maybe a scope on it. I don't know what difference how they compare. Um so there's loads to unlock now all of these uh these special weapons okay that's for completing hardcore and village of shadows uh, okay that's getting double s ranking all the mercenaries okay all right about that um and then infinite ammo to unlock the possibility to buy the infinite ammo you have to fully upgrade all of the weapons so i assume the weapons that i sold to the duke are still in the store can be re-bought back for tw twice the price that i got for selling them to him uh and they're, they're, they're at the upgrade point that they're currently at. So assume, as soon as you have fully upgrade that weapon and you own it for a second, then that will unlock these uh, this content to be... Uh, you can spend points on. Um, so yeah, so I mean... So there we go. So of course the grenade launcher being... Um, having no upgrades on it, you automatically have that. So, I mean, for the sake of getting through the game, having an infinite ammo grenade launcher probably wouldn't be a terrible thing to have. Um, that's interesting, the stake. 
Magnum. Must be fully upgraded and fully customized to unlock this item for purchase. Is that for sale from the Duke in New Game Plus? I don't know. Maybe we've got to do something. It doesn't tell you how you unlock it. That's the thing. Um, and there you go. And you could get infinite ammo for the handgun and the uh, Dragoon Assault Rifle as well. Um, all right. Yeah, that's all the weapons. So I don't know what the, the really is the best use of uh, points are at the minute. I don't know if it really matters either. Um, uh, I might, Ryan, but we're not going to do it on stream. Um, so, yeah, let me, uh, let me jump over here for a minute, I guess. Uh, yeah, um, in fact. There we go. Jump over here for a minute while I decide what we're doing. Um... There we go, I'll just change to just chatting for a minute. Um Okay, so the uh so is it like the same it's gotta got be uh Ah so you can buy the steak. Uh from yeah, got ya. Um Yeah, I just wondered um Maybe I can uh, maybe I'll look it up. Um Resident Evil Village. Um Um WCX first dragoon. There we go. First thing that comes up. Um, the WCX is better than the dragoon, making it the best assault rifle in Resident Evil Village. Uh, and I assume by having an assault rifle, that kind of maybe means ammo will randomly spawn for it, or at least uh, the Duke will sell it. Uh, in terms of in terms of base stats, the uh, dragoon is actually superior in almost every way. Problem is, the dragoon full auto assault rifle is not upgradable. Right, okay. Right, okay, so the Dragoon is fully upgraded. And the f and that, that is better than the uh, non-upgraded WCX. But when you do upgrade the WCX, that is better than the fully upgraded Dragoon. That's what I'm reading, at least. That's the name of Chris's assault rifle. Um, right, okay. Yeah, so if you want... Uh, it seems like getting the uh, WCX is overall better. But you obviously have to spend your money to upgrade it. Uh, could have called it a Dukan. <laughs> they could have. They could have called it many things, couldn't they? But it didn't. Uh... Anyway, so I'm just going to catch up a, a little bit. I'll just make sure I've got all your, uh, all your comments there. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do next. Right, so I mean, we've got an hour and 40. Um, I know, so yeah, I guess we'll talk about Resident Evil Village for a second. So thank you very much to Ryan uh, for voting for us to cover that. Thank you, Ryan. And not only that, you know what I'm saying, Ryan. Bless you, sir. Greatly enjoyed it. Excellent game. I think it, I personally prefer it to 7 quite a lot. I think it's great. I am half tempted to... I don't know if I want to mess around with Mercenaries mode, but I might just for f f the fun of, uh, you know, trying out some of the new weapons and killing stuff, just... um. There's, there's just, uh, I've done similar things in um, the kind of same kind of mindset in like uh, New Game Plus in Resident Evil Four, just uh, going through the game again uh, with your better gear, um, you know, just for the fun of it. Uh, 
maybe I could uh, try out um, the shadows mode, but maybe I would want an infinite ammo weapon for that. Although I've, got, I've probably got enough, uh, I've got enough points to get infinite out. I don't know. Or would that ruin it a bit? I don't know. We shall see. Um, I'll think about it. But I don't know that we want to do it on stream. But yeah, the DLC, I enjoyed that. The continuation of Rosa's story. I, I'm curious, though, from Capcom's point of view, do they keep Rosa's story going and then they've just kind of essentially skipped 16 years of the Resident Evil universe where mm, nothing happened, essentially, unless they come back and went, previously on Resident Evil. Um... Or are they going to, like, leave that kind of that branch, that shard of the saga to one side and go back and fill in those 16 years with, you know, catching up with, like, Leon or, you know, or Claire or, you know, Jill or anybody else? Um, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Akuma, thank you for those uh, raffle tickets. Let me uh, add those in. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. Like I say, whether I come back to it or not, or you know, I can you ask me about it each day on stream. Um, thank you for those tickets, there, Akuma. Um, thank you for buying the tickets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me add those on. Cool. That's uh, another two. That gives you a total of six now, Akuma. If you get up to nine and you don't win, that will get you a free flex. Uh, you have still got like bloody um. 20 days 21 days to buy raffle tickets guys so no rush um i'm wondering if there's going to be somebody who's going to like not buy any tickets and then on the last day they'll be like bang buy like 100 and be like i'm the daddy we shall see yo vibes how you doing welcome back squidge um but yeah ryan so I, i'm greatly enjoying it and i could uh i might even play it off stream i could even stream it into into the conflux but i feel for the isnib show uh, Resident Evil Village is now completed. And on that note, I should I should add that into our uh, onto our panels. Let me go do that. But thank you so much, Ryan. I absolutely loved it. It's up there for me. I don't know if it's... Now we've got to the end, I don't know if it's broken into my top three. But it might actually sit very uh, very easily in uh, in the fourth, fourth, fourth position of all Resident Evil games that I've played. Uh, which is, you know, it's honestly it's saying something. Um, not, uh, not easily done. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to put it in the right place. There we go. Um, vibes, yeah, I have the cyberpunk anime. Yes, it was freaking fantastic. Highly recommend it to anyone, even people who don't like anime. Uh, it's on Netflix. Even if you've got no interest in the setting of cyberpunk. I've never played cyberpunk. I, I know what a cyberpunk setting is, though. Um, I would like to play cyberpunk. It's just it's not come to pass yet. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's freaking excellent. Uh, vibes. I loved every minute of it. It's hyper violent. So anyone doesn't like violence, um, stay away from it because it is hyper violent. Uh, and uh, there's also like a lot of sexual reference in it as well. You know, so if that's not to people's taste, stay away from it. If those things don't put you off, or even if you're in fact drawn to those things, absolutely get on uh, Cyberpunk. Um, Edge Runners is called, isn't it? Uh, Red Mage recommended it to me, and it is freaking excellent. Not too long, it's like 10 episodes, and they're like only 20 minutes long each. Highly, highly recommended. Can't recommend it enough. Um, but yeah, we completed it, Squidge. It was um, it was cool. It was really, really rather good game. Yeah, you can buy... Raffle tickets are on sale um, up until the... We do the draw on the 1st of December. Or the first, or the first stream of each month, Akuma. Um, regardless of how many tickets we have, so if we've only sold five tickets in a month, 
then those people will have pretty good ch chances of winning, won't they? If we sell 500, then, you know, obviously going to reduce your chance if you only got two tickets, but someone's got to win. Hey, I, I won an, e an emo on Twitter, and I had like a battle... I think there's probably about, was there like 500 people, 600 people who were entered? And I was one of two. So I won a competition with a one in 300 chance of winning. Someone had to win. It was me. Um, so that could be you, guys. If you, you know, obviously, you know, more tickets you get, greater chances. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, fourth best of the Resident Evil games. And I don't know if it's necessarily in order. I thought at, um, a couple of days ago, I thought it was like maybe up there with them. Uh, my top three Resident Evil games are the GameCube remake of Resident Evil 1, which I consider the definitive version of the game. Uh, the modern uh, Resident Evil 2 remake that we got a couple of years ago. Such a good game. Like, plays like a dream. Uh, and... Um, and uh, Resident Evil 4. So I've got high hopes the the Resident Evil 4 remake. And I feel that uh, Resident Evil Village just uh, is just under the bar of those three. Uh, I'm not going to put those three in, in order. I don't know if I can. Um, everything else is after Village, uh, I feel. So it's, uh, that's glowing praise coming from me. Fourth best game ever. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't even know if I could come up with a, a top 50 of games ever, Squidge. That would be... Um, that would be a, a bit of a, that'd be a bit of a, an ask there. Um, yeah, don't play six. Six is the worst Resident Evil game I've ever played. I mean, it is still playable. We still completed and got through it. I, I struggled to even get into um, uh, what are they called uh, Outbreak, Resident Evil Outbreak, and also Operation Raccoon City. I struggled to get into those. Uh, so you could argue, you know, I know, I know there's loads of other weird spin-off Resident Evil, so even more weird and janky. So maybe compared to them, Resident Evil 6 is better. But in the ones I've played and completed, it is, it is the worst. And that's no judgment on people who like it. It's just for me, it's the least least good. Um, yeah, Squidge, if you can put aside the hyper-violence, it is freaking excellent, truly. Just um, the stylization of it, the artwork and the animation the overall vibe uh the world building uh which i guess the world building is not difficult because it's based on the video game which was based on you know an rpg game you know which i think was based on maybe an original novel i don't know the world building is already there but they do a fantastic job of it um you did the whole thing in a single night did you vibes i don't blame you i watched it i think i watched like one or two episodes an evening but I didn't take an evening off while I was watching it. I just watched it through because it was like, it gripped me. Um, well, I mean, Root, if you were... The only reason Cyberpunk is not already on the, the official game list that I've put there myself is because I don't have access to it. That's not something that a, a producer would need to spend an addition for. I would immediately put that there myself out of choice. Um And they're at an expansion based on Edge Runners. Oh my god. Have you seen it, Rue? It's like, it's so, it's just extremely cool. Yeah, it's, uh, if you can. Maybe the violence is not as bad, Squidge, because it's animated. It's makes, maybe it'll make it slightly more digestible for you. But then again, you watched Arcane. That was pretty violent, wasn't it? And you love that. Although, <laughs> all, I mean, the violence goes to the point of almost like comic book. Like, People are like are exploding. Um, so just be aware. Vibes, thank you for the raffle tickets there, buddy. Let me uh get those. Three raffle tickets from Vibes. He's already got a few. Uh there we go. Vibes. Four uh sorry, that's sorry, it's three just there, wasn't it? Yeah, three to go with the other three. That's six. Same as Akuma. You both have six. Excellent. Thank you, Vibes. Good luck to you, sir. Um Uh, Slick Mick, uh, Resident Evil Gaiden, no. Uh, I, yeah, that's that the, that the light gun game, I don't know. But yeah, Village was fantastic. Uh, yes, Red Mage. 
I feel that um, Code Veronica, if anyone's ever played it, is the dark horse of the series. In a lot of ways, it's like the it epitomizes the uh, it's, it's the best of the original Resident Evil uh, before it went like the more action based route of uh, Resident Evil Four. But it does have some janky mechanics to it. It you know like one thing is um. It propels you from the about halfway through the game. It's like, ah, and now we're going to another area. And it's like, oh, okay, I wasn't actually ready for that. I hadn't searched everything. I hadn't picked up everything. Tough titty. Um, okay. Uh, uh, and also, um, I think it actually takes you to, is it just one area? Shift. Uh, it also changes up, um, it's two different characters that it goes, ah, now you're playing this character. Okay, that's fine. We couldn't complete it because I, got to the last boss with the cat i was like i took a 50 50 chance because i couldn't remember i was like which character are we playing as for to fight the final boss i don't know let's guess and i guess wrong and we we had like no weapons or ammo to fight the final boss so we literally soft locked us well, i mean i'd say soft locked kind of hard locked ourselves out of completing the game it was very frustrating so i hope all of that a, a remake in the vein of Resident Evil 2 uh, with that level of attention to detail, fluidity of combat, um, you know, excellent, everything looking superb and wonderful, plus ironing out this jankiness, the, the overall jank of it, could be the greatest Resident Evil game ever made. We'll have to watch this space, um, Red Mage, although Resident Evil 4 probably looking freaking amazing. Um yeah, six is awful. Um, I feel that five is five gets a bad rap. Uh, Sleep Mick. It's like a it's like a not so good version of four, but consider how good four is. Um, I feel it's significantly superior to uh, six, but a lot of people are just not into five, and that's fair enough. And it's definitely not a horror game. It's it's just it's an action. It's a shooty action game, but fighting monsters. Vibes. I agree with you. I like five. I like five a lot. Um, uh, especially if you get a co-op buddy. It's designed as a co-op game. Um, you can play it single player, but it just means you've got an AI character running around to help helping you out, and you have to manage their inventory and stuff. That can be a bit annoying. Um, so I'm sure I'm sure five would be much much more fun if you do have a co-op buddy. Um, but still a good game, I feel. Yeah, Choom. <laughs> Careful there, Choom. Uh, uh, yeah, just, yeah, the, um, Red Mage, the, uh, yeah, going back to Edge Runners, it's, um, the, uh, the attention to detail, uh, and, um, like, uh, how the, the evolution of the English language, uh, like the words they use, and then they double up on words. I love that. That's very cool. And yeah, uh, that everyone calls everyone Choom. Uh, as in, uh, like, like to say buddy or mate or friend. And it can be used as a, like a friendly thing or a, like a disparaging thing. Um, uh, and I guess it's, I guess it's like an evolution of chum. Oi, all right there, chum. How you doing? It, be it became Choom. Um, it's very cool. Oh, look at it. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know if it's like chu, uh, C H U M E or C H O O M, as uh, Red Man just got. Either way, it's very cool. Um, yeah, it's like bro, but sometimes they say it as like a can be a, a little bit disrespectful. Route, which oh that works. Just like you can say, "Hey, dude, how, you know how's it going?" Or, <laughs> "Dude, bro," you know. It's like it's how you say it, not you know. No, not what you say. Um, yeah, no, it's, I love that vibes. When yeah, when you just like you do something on a whim, you're like, okay, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I sometimes get that with random anime. I'm like, oh, I don't know, that doesn't doesn't look so great. And then you start, and you're like, oh my god, how have I wasted my life not watching this yet? <laughs> um, some things are like that, and I I was shocked how uh, by how much I enjoyed it. So I'm glad you enjoyed it as well, vibes. Um, 
yeah so so root you're a big fan of it it was uh it was a shit show when it was released was uh cyberpunk because uh coming off the back of the witcher 3 we everyone expected which is a fantastic game uh everyone expected uh cd project red to put out another masterpiece and in terms of like design concept and maybe gameplay maybe it was but it was apparently buggy as all hell like embarrassingly so like you should be ashamed of yourselves guys uh, apparently it's fixed now but i've not really got into in-depth conversation with anyone um since we uh you know since that has happened but i'm, I'm sure it's very playable now um <laughs> Draco Red Mage, maybe. Um, can't say goodbye to Night City. Wow, Root. I know you've got X and Takes, Root. Uh, so I'll take that under advisement. And if I understand correctly, it, you know, it plays like Witcher, but it's even maybe more like a Bethesda game because you, like, you're forced into first person, right? And it's like open world and you can just like wander around and do stuff. Is that it does sound very appealing to me um yeah i don't know I, was it a joke <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know i was it not a resident evil game called that i don't know um uh red mage um I, with your backlog red mage i would say no L put it to the bottom of the barrel and when you get to the bottom and you're scraping the barrel and you've played all the other fantastic, wonderful games that you know are going to be amazing, then play it. But now, Red Mage, don't waste your time on it. And if you die, like, 80 years from now, oh, when you're hanging in here with me, buddy, um, and you, you're, on your, on your, on your, on your Red Magey deathbed, and you're like, oh, oh, my backlog. I played so many games, and my backlog never went anywhere. And I'll be like, I'll be there with you. And I'll be like, no, Red Mage. I, I tried to convince you of this before. <laughs> I remember 80 years ago when I told you this. Um, there will be no regret had on your part that Resident Evil 6 was not one of the games you played. So honestly, forget about it, buddy. Um, no, that's fine. That's fine, Af. Now, you played. Now, when you say you played the first Resident Evil for like five minutes, do you mean the original PS1 Resident Evil, presumably? I'm guessing. And did you play it back in the day when it back in 96 when it was released or do you mean you played it more recently to give it a go to see what it was about um or do you, or do you mean the remake uh that's one of my favorites the gamecube remake um yeah exactly how are you hey you doing bro oh you better watch it son <laughs> um you don't watch it. I say I, I, I'm terror. I don't not a fan of like rewatching things. Uh, I like to. I like to be surprised. It, well, I, I am a fan of rewatching things, uh, but not like immediately after the fact. Um. Oh, it's Tomb, is it? Okay, cool, cool, excellent. Uh, thank you, thank you, Root. With the oom to rhyme with shroom. Um. exactly ryan exactly hey buddy there's so many uh connotations right okay so on pc it was fine was it i i don't know i i uh i had friends who like uh casual mer got it when it was released he was playing on pc and it did not run well at all so i don't know maybe um yeah, it just works. Yeah, it, Bethesda just works. That's that's good enough for me. That's that's good enough for me. But no, this is what just what I've heard through. I've done it. Um, you played it on PS4 and got the worst of it. C Star, how long have you been there, C Star? Sorry to keep you waiting, my dear. Are you well? Conscious of your saves. Okay. It's bad shape. Red Mage said. Um. You haven't played in a year. It's way better now. Yeah, I'll get on it at some point. I'm sure it'll... Who knows? You know, the lot. that's the thing. I know a lot of people are very... Uh, and I get it. Are very um, anxious to get certain games at release. I do understand that. Um, indeed. Indeed, I do understand that. Um, but um, 
I'm very comfortable not doing that for the most part. And I know the longer I leave it, uh, the more I can enjoy a game when I get hold of it. And I might even get it real cheap or even for free. So that, <laughs> that's the best price, free. That's my favorite price. Um, we're on PS5 now, Root. Yeah, yeah, so it's probably r running that much better. Yeah, yeah, and I heard, this is what I'd heard, Vibes, after the show, Edge Runners came out, that they uh, got uh, an uptick in people playing the game, which, you know, makes sense. It does make me more interested in exploring that world. Yeah, get it, stick it right in the bottom of the barrel, Red Mage, and forget about it, honestly, buddy. You might even resent the game because it took... It's not a short game either, there's a lot to it. You might even resent it because it took so much time out of your... When you could have been playing other actual good games. Exactly. And the, and the more that they do on it, the more of it will be a complete package when I finally get to it. No, we're not into early, Sea Star. We, um, we've still got like just over an hour. I don't know what we're going to do. I, I kind of know what we're going to do, but I don't know. We'll just we'll sort that out in a second. Uh, I'll just keep the conversation going for a minute. Um, No, we, uh, we completed Resident Evil Village with the DLC. A single stream was the DLC. Uh, three hours more than obviously with all the breaks and conversation and stuff. Uh, just chatting at the start, but yeah, we just wrapped up. It was uh, it was excellent. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, you, you be yeah exactly. You might be like that on your deathbed, Red Mage. You'll be like, oh no, wow, wasted my time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, when it came out, interesting enough. Yeah, because I could see somebody like if um. Like if I said, if they were like, someone was like, oh, I'm going to try out the original Resident Evil. And I'm like, oh, the remake. No, no, the PS1 version. Okay. Uh, And they tried it now and they'd be like, oh my God, this looks, sounds and plays like a shit. Um, but if it was right back in the day when it was released, Af, that, that was like cutting edge. It was like, oh my God. Uh, but I can understand. It depends what you'd played before. Um, You're just not getting on with it. And, you know, it's not for everyone. You know. I, I think I, I, I actually, um, I actually skipped. I, th I actually didn't have a PlayStation, or I knew anybody had one. Um, it was not until I got to play on somebody else's PlayStation, uh, and I, the, I, I played a little bit. I was like, oh my god, this PlayStation is so cool. Maybe I'll own one one day. Um, uh, the the first game I probably sat down and played for an amount of time and watched other people play it was Resident Evil 2. And I was like, my tiny little mind was blown. I was like, I have to somehow get a hold of this. Um, and then I, so I was very used to that. So although uh, graphically uh, and, you know, animation and gameplay wasn't quite as tight as this the sequel, um, because I'd already played Resident Evil 2, it's very easy for me to go back to it. It's hard for me to imagine the very first ex someone's very first experience being the original Resident Evil. I'm sure I would have it would have been fine, but I might not have. I, you know, I went into it with slightly rose tinted glasses of you know called Resident Evil Two. So I don't know, but yeah, you gave it a try. Af, that's what matters. Um, but it's still good. We played both. We played the original and the remake, but the remake is kind of for me the definitive version. You've been lurking all day, Sea Star. Bless you, my dear. You're too good to me. Clean the house. Yeah, got to be done sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Who was it? somebody yesterday mentioned that we're doing a fan remake? Let's see if we've got any screenshots of it. Um, and how do you even get if it's a fan remake? I don't want to see anything about it. What's this? Yeah, the Resident Evil PC games.com. Uh, the Resident Evil remake now has its own remake and you can play it today. It's already out. You having a bubble? Resident Evil Remake, the 2002 horror game from Capcom, released on the uh, GameCube initially, and you can buy it on everything now, has now itself been remade. I think it was out already. Um, created by a team of independent developers. 
Yeah, Resident Evil Remake Remake, or Resident Evil Fan Remake, as the team calls it. Use the engine assets from Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remakes. Oh, damn. Take an in yeah, completely remake. Take an inspiration from both the original and the uh, the remake. The, the full game will be available for free. I, just, I don't understand how they get the code of it. it I mean, it, where, where does copyright come into it? There's a new demo. Okay, so the demo's out. That's what they mean you can play it. Okay, so I'll keep an eye. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, if it's literally free, you literally just download it and you just play it on your PC. That will definitely be getting added to the list when that is released. 100% Red Mage. Well, in interesting. I'm not going to look up a video or anything. I'm not... And I don't care. And I'm not a fan of demos. Um, I know a lot of people like demos, but um, I don't... Uh, I just don't have time. I'd rather spend my time playing an actual full game than to, like, play the tr the, the teaser, the, tra the trailer version of, the, of something that's not released yet. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I ain't got time. Um, no, d okay. So, Root, did you uh, order it just because it sounded cool, or was it on the basis of uh, CD Projekt Red and uh, The Witcher 3? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I would definitely give it a chance. Uh, is he? Well... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, uh, Cage was in earlier, uh, AF, and he said he wasn't feeling very well. I don't know, uh, he's been very busy recently with, uh, his own stream stuff and real life and changes at his work and being ill. Um, so I'm not gonna, I don't want to hassle Cage about Lone Wolf for the time being. I'll leave it a few more weeks. I know you're eager for it. I'm eager for it. Uh, and even people who don't, uh, here i don't know anything about it maybe oh that could be of interest to people um so i'm not gonna hassle cage for the time being uh af but you know i'm gonna get it to a point where i'm gonna have to message him and be like yo cage what's um no no you'd be silly but no you voted for something which i want to do i've put the work in and i was like who would be the best person for this i felt legion cage i know even though he's a busy gentleman even with the idea of um it doesn't have to be on my stream time we could even do it at the weekends we could do it for you know and we could do it like once a month or something like that well you know i'm willing to be flexible to accommodate him but if uh you know he just doesn't have time or maybe you know he thought oh that'd be a cool thing and then now he's kind of like lost interest you know i might need to find a replacement you know that's not off the table the project is you know i'm willing to adapt the project for an individual but um the project will go ahead regardless um so uh so bear with me af because i know you're the one who voted for it and you're possibly the most person who's most excited about it aside from myself um it will happen at some point but i'd like to just um give uh you know give cage the benefit of the doubt give him a few more weeks in fact uh, i'll give him the outside of it I'll leave it, you know, it's a busy time, come up to a busy time of year as well. I know it's not ideal. In, this, in the scheme of the Isnib show, it's not a long time. It might be a bit of a while. I'll probably leave it till after Christmas. Um, I mean, Cage was here earlier. I don't know if he's lurking at the minute. Uh, he could be, he might not be, but um, I will, uh, at, so after Christmas, uh, I will message him just to be, you know, be like, if, if he doesn't come up in conversation before, I'll be like, your Cage... It's been a while. For example, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> just to um, see how long it's currently been, because time is a, a weird old uh, thing for me. Um, a long, lots of time can go by. Um, okay, it was the end of September, so we're looking at a good five, six weeks ago. 
since I last discussed it with him. Um, and I basically I gave him the like the list of I gave him like the the the, uh, the preamble, uh, the, you know the introduction stuff, and um, you know what which of these five which five of these ten skills do you want for your character? And he's decided that he's read through all that and decided that. Um, like I say, that was the end of September. Um, so we'll leave it a, a little while longer, and then we'll uh, and then I'll touch base with him, you know. Uh, and and see and see what the plan is, you know. And I don't even mind dragging it out longer than that if he can say yes, I can commit to these dates starting this day and doing whatever into the future. Um, if he wants to, he might do the first one and be like, ah, actually, this is boring. I don't I don't really like this. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll think about it, Af, and because uh, I'm ex you're excited about it, I'm excited about it. Everyone else might not give a shit, but I do. Um, and uh you know i'm willing to make uh exceptions for my chosen man uh and uh, <laughs> uh we shall um we'll see how it goes draco yeah i'm a bit behind on chat here so i'm like chop and change but yeah basically it's um it's like a fighting fantasy book series so uh the idea is i would literally essentially in simplest terms i would be reading a storybook on stream so if people like miss the beginning they might come in and be like oh i don't know what's going on <laughs> Af will be here to inform people the, the rough story. She's familiar with it. Uh, and then the plan would be somebody, ideally my friend Legion Cage, uh, uh, would be making the choices in the story. So I'd be like, oh, do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Uh, and Cage is like, oh, well, based on what I... Oh, I'm taking a guess, or based on what I found out. Do you want to fight the monster or do you want to run away? Do you want to take the item or do you want to leave it? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. It's kind of, think about D Dungeons and Dragons Light essentially if you know if you you've never read fighting fantasy books before um uh so we, oh, yeah we're still waiting to get that all set up it could yeah it, I, i'm very excited about it draco it could be the it could be ex, it could be anywhere between extremely freaking boring and everybody apart from me hates it all the way up to it could be the most amazing wonderful thing we've done on the whole channel in the two years we've been running and we won't know until we start it and get into it um but uh that could you know sometime in the near relative near future we'll get on that and so is it going to be red mage it probably wouldn't be red mage as the replacement af <laughs> uh just because uh you know he's usually at work while we're streaming so <laughs> um yeah 50 pounds vibes yeah wait on it wait on that sale my friend don't buy a game for 50 pounds ne never do that um Yeah, do do Rue if you see. Um you got the PC version of twenty dollars. That's that's more like it. Um Yeah, no, exactly. Not and it, even C Star, even if it's, it's not every game is jank at release, some are released perfectly and they're perfectly fine. It's just the fact that a game releases and it's sixty dollars. Wait three months, it'll be forty dollars. Wait another three months, it'll be twenty dollars. Wait two years, you probably can pick it up for free or pennies. So it's, and it also, yeah, that's a variation. It depends on the game. Uh, so if you can just have a bit of patience, uh, and there's all these exceptions to it, you can uh, save yourself a lot of money. Um, there we go. Yeah, they've got the full demo there. An hour and 10 minute demo. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice Red Mage. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look at it because I don't want to spoil myself. But I'll, that'll definitely, as soon as that's released, you remind me if you keep an eye on it. Um, Sly, how you doing, Sly? Sorry to keep you waiting there, buddy. A um, little bit behind at the minute. Um, uh, yeah, that'll definitely get added to the list, especially if it's free to play. You can just download it and play on your PC. Absolutely. I will. I loved Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil Remake. I will love to play Resident Evil Remake Remake. Looking forward to it. Um... Yeah, you get demo discs through the mail. I know they used to be, uh, they used to give them away on like uh, PlayStation magazine and stuff. And you'd be like, ah, oh, play these five minutes of these games. Uh, yeah. Back then, when you didn't have any games, you'd be like, oh my God. You'd give it a little go, but. Uh, there you go. Exactly, right. There's exceptions. Sometimes you do want to pre order.
No, they oh they absolutely can't charge the money. Uh, of course, Red Mage, uh, anybody money because you know. But I just wondered if they could even give it away for free. Whether Capcom would step in and be like, because if they they say they've used the Resident Evil engine, that's not open source, is it? Capcom owns that. How have they got their hands on it? Have they cracked a, a copy of the game to find the code? Okay, obviously they can do that technically, but they can't legally use that, right? I don't know. Um, it'd be interesting if they could uh, claim ownership. Draco, find the raffle tickets up in here. Let me get those for you, buddy. Try to keep you waiting. That's seven minutes ago, I do apologise, Draco, but it's not gone anywhere. Let me uh, add you uh, to the other raffle uh, tickets. Draco Wolf, nine raffle tickets. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. We'll have, we'll have the draw on the 1st of December. Hopefully around. If not, don't worry. It will be, uh, I'll do it live on stream. It'll be completely fair. And uh, you can, now if anyone wants to check that fact, they can just go back and look at the um, the uh, VOD. <laughs> Ryan! You. Gift sub to Draco. Thank you, Ryan. Bless you, sir. I appreciate that. How many raffle tickets are left? There's no limit, is the idea. You can. There's infinite tickets. It's how many people buy them. So this is the question, Red Mage. How, uh, you know, I don't want people to feel bad if they spend their po you know, their channel points and they don't get anything out of it. Hence why the flexors are there. Um, so each person must judge themselves. How many tickets do they want? Do you want tickets? Some people say yay, some people say nay. How many do you want? Do you want a single ticket just to be in the mix? Do you want nine tickets? So then if you win, cool. You've not contributed, you're not lost, you're not had to pay too much. And if you lose, you get a flex. Do you, are you absolutely want to win? Are you going to buy 50 tickets? And that's how determined you are. Each Only each of you can determine for yourselves. Um, indeed, yes, Root. Infinite. So, you know, do what you want. I think we're up to about 60 tickets bought at the minute. Just to give you an idea. So if you buy a single ticket, you've probably got about 1 in 60 chance of winning. But bear in mind, there's two prizes. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I never really got on with HR at uh, places I've worked, uh, Ryan. Yeah, you go, yeah. This DLC coming out soon, Root. Yeah, yeah, that'll keep the price up for a little bit, won't it? But anyway, Affleen, thank you for the luck. That was, you might have been back by now, I don't know. Um, no, we played it on PC. Uh, I was gifted a copy, Red Mage, and it was the uh, the uh, PC version, Steam version. Tormented Souls. Uh, what is that, Ryan? That sounds vaguely familiar. Um, no, exactly. So I don't know, Red Mage, exactly. I don't. So I don't know what the legality of it. If I can download it and play it for free... They absolutely cannot, um, of course, charge money for it. But I just wonder if Capcom might even go more aggressive. Well, they'll step in and be like, yeah, thanks for making that for us. We own this. Cheers. See you later. Thank thanks for doing the work for us. Jog on. We own this. I don't know. Could be interesting. Uh, raffle ticket from Red Mage. Thank you, sir. Let me mark that off. Perfect. You might, you know, you might as well, Red Mage. It's up to you. Because I know you've got, uh, you've got strong opinions about things, Red Mage, about video games. There might be particular things you'd like to see here over other things. Just think about it. Um, yeah, about 60, C-Star. You still have the overwhelming majority. Well, the, you've got twice as many as anybody else. But they are starting to stack up now. So you have more tickets than anyone else, C-Star. But, you know, the more people that buy them, the, the less uh, they will be worth, so to speak. Um but yeah, still in the lead. You still have more than anybody else. Um, Root, thank you so much for being here. No, don't worry about it, Root. You get you get off and do whatever you stuff you have to do. Look after Raven and uh, hope to uh, see you tomorrow, uh, Root. Yeah, well, you, you got you know what two choices uh, because we've got an hour. I suppose technically we should get into the next game. Uh, I was just going to do a bit of just chatting for a second and then. You know, that's kind of run its course now. And now we are... Uh, we've still got an hour of stream. So I guess we probably should start our next game. It'd be weird not to. Um, I 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll, uh, thank you, Ryan. I'll have a little look at that. Uh, looks, uh, yeah, Tormented Souls that Ryan has just uh, sent me a little thing. I'll have a little look at that later, buddy. Looks, um, looks like it's definitely something I would enjoy. Let's put it that way. Um, not even important. Well, I don't know. I like to find out about good games. Um, <laughs> bless you, Sea Star. Uh, no worries. Thank you for the alert, Red Mage. You get on that Ragnarok. Enjoy. Um, yes. Yeah, so to answer your question, uh, Draco, uh, we, unless I get, um, yeah, it, yeah, excellent, Ryan. Cool. I will look forward to uh, having a browse at that layer. Um, so unless we, ha so we got uh, at the beginning of the month, like a week and a half ago, uh, our producers got a bunch of votes in for us. Um, uh, King Jack is still sat on twelve votes. I don't know what his plans for those are. Um, he has decided to just sit on those for for now. That's up to him. Um, Ryan, Affleen, and Root all spent their votes. Um. Scotty and Poots are still sat on a single vote. Not heard anything from Poots. Uh, and Scotty has said, for now, he would like to hang on to his vote specifically. Uh, that leaves us with two games that each have two votes each. Um, both of which I am very, personally, extremely excited to look at either of these games. Um... somewhat torn they're both going to be lengthy games um so i'll say this off the bat um in case uh anybody uh was unsure and it's never this has never actually cropped up on the sdm show before uh and it could have done recently when we were playing modded skyrim but then i, I decided to kill the the playthrough to find a better mod list for skyrim if we ever start a game that um is either doesn't have an end or is so chonky uh we could be at it for weeks uh, i think the the longest time we've ever spent on a single game is like 16 17 streams i think we played final fantasy 15 for 17 streams uh dragon age origins and dragon age inquisition were also up there which is that's over three weeks uh, i feel that's the most i want to give to a single game uh consecutively without mixing up on the channel a little bit um, so if we came across a game that was, uh, you know, we were playing it for three weeks and it's still not done, or more, three and a half weeks, uh, to keep it going, we would still stay on it, but, like, the plan with Skyrim was we'd just do three weeks and then drop it down to a single stream per week. So that would potentially be the plan. It depends how long these, uh, games are. Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, C Star. let me just find out for you to get a definitive answer. That was up there, um with those games let's have a look okay so um dragon age origins was 17 streams red dead redemption 2 was also 17 streams um dragon age inquisition was also exactly 17 streams <laughs> so there you go um so that's kind of for me that's like almost the upper limit um if we've done 17 streams I'm like starting to be like, not that I'm not enjoying it, but so we, I guess we could round that off to 20. Not that we necessarily need to commit to 20, but I could do. Um, but let's use a ballpark number for the few for future reference. We don't have to be strict with this. We say 20 streams. If we start a game, we stream do 20 streams of it, and we've still not finished the game, then we will absolutely drop it down to a single stream per week to finish it off. Just to cut, keep mix. Yeah, we've seemingly got a thing for 17s, Draco. Just, <laughs> that's just the way it worked out. Uh, or 17 could be the cap. We shall see, Ryan. Um, I think, I'm not sure about, uh, I think also, in fact, uh, Final Fantasy uh, 15 was also 17 or eight, maybe 18. I think I might have deleted it now. I think I've removed, yeah, I've, I've since unfortunately removed it just to, save on space on the hard drive um you can probably find it on uh let me uh let me pull it up just to just to confirm because that might be the winner of m most 
stream streamed game um let me find this do apologize um so i don't know why this is not in proper order there we go this shouldn't been stupid for a minute let me back up this slightly i say slightly i mean probably quite a lot oh there we go oh wow okay there we go final fantasy 15 holds the championship 19 streams of that game to complete it so i guess we'd use uh 20 as uh, a rough amount it doesn't have to be straight we'll see how we feel but um one of the games at least we've got coming up um is um is uh of that um it, yeah, Witcher 3 is on my personal list. It does not currently have any votes, C-Star. Um, and uh, I uh, I enjoyed it greatly when it came out. I could definitely... I'm not, e I'm not like, gagging, chomping at a bit. I'm not gagging to uh, stream The Witcher 3. But I'm sure if we started it, I, w I would soon get back into it again. Excellent, excellent game. Um, it doesn't currently have any votes. Uh, we will see if it does in the future. It's not going anywhere. I do feel that... The, the longer into the future it goes without getting around to it, the more I will enjoy it when we do get into it. So it's not, it's not a massive problem. Um, uh, you do believe that, uh, Ryan? One of them, yes. I don't know about the other. Uh, okay, so uh, I won't uh, not to give away to keep it trying a secret. One of the games I own, one of the games is on Game Pass. And I currently don't have Game Pass. I've been stacking up points. Uh, so to get the most out of Game Pass, that is my only uh, stipulation. That's the only. That's the, the thing that has literally decided it. That will probably be our next game we start on. Uh, we shall see. Um, but the game I own is, in fact... Someone mentioned this the other day. It is Elden Ring. Uh, so, so I've heard of people getting upwards of 200 hour playthroughs ryan on the, of elden ring and obviously crazy people playing it much much beyond that um uh and as i would definitely try to get as much out of the game it, we could easily get up to that point and not be done with it so be aware of that um uh so yes you you vote by becoming a producer draco that's the that's the raffle tickets you've literally just bought that's the prize um our current producers pay through the patreon uh patreon to um to have that privilege uh and that's what that new raffle is for to get it for free basically um uh like kuma you've you've played it and completed in 100 hours um so you ryan you've completed and finished the game multiple times in less than 200 hours okay well we shall see i'm not gamer god like you guys i'm a bit of a noob um and i'm very uh i don't know what to expect with the game exactly um so i guess let's talk about it. i know some of our regulars some of you here may be very much like oh yeah elden ring exciting like coptimus was in the other day asking about it he's a fan of it he, and he's expressed an interest in seeing me cover it on the channel um and i know some of you here are pretty ambivalent to it um i think squid just said like eh oh you know it's not scary because of the horror i'm not gonna look the other way from it but i'm not really into it is i don't really care about it i've seen people stream it i don't care and i've had like seven i think seven has mentioned Ugh, elden ring jank no thank you so you know there's mixed opinions on it um but you know we plan to cover everything on this channel uh within reason and if it's not to certain people's tastes for the next couple of weeks that's okay you can come in and, at the beginning with the just chatting or catch us at the end for the just chatting um that's fine you know i'm sure you'll leave the lurk for the support as i will greatly appreciate and you know before you know it we'll have done it and they'll dusted it off and moved on to the next thing and it's only a matter of time before something comes around that will be far more of uh, somebody else's interest in, you know of your interest so um 
it is what it is but that i personally am very excited to play it uh you're a trash souls player well we shall see we'll compare you to me uh ryan <laughs> when we get there so uh just out of interest um when we were when elden ring was first released uh very excited about it. when was it released and the the hype that was on uh twitch about it it was uh back in february the end of february it was released everybody was streaming it even non-souls players and um that's good because it kind of got a lot of people into it who were like oh i didn't i didn't know what these games were about because they got caught up in the hype and they got into it and then i think a lot of people got butt hurt because they didn't know what to expect they got into it and they were like oh it's too hard and then people were like no it's not too hard this is a souls game it's okay if you're not don't like souls games if you don't understand it or you're not good at it you're not supposed to be good at it it takes time and effort and practice to get get good okay no one's judging you if no one's making you play it but if you come into elden ring thinking it's some action adventure rpg just like any other modern hold your hand game you're going to be sorely disappointed you're going to get murdered and you're not going to have a good time okay there is no easy mode it is what it is you can do it or you can't do it uh, i'm somewhat um nervous because it's been a while since i've played uh, some souls games um oh bless you bless you c star i appreciate that um but just to give you my personal background um sorry i'm gonna catch up here um but yes draco you've played it you th feel it's a great game as well um yeah we don't listen to seven seven is a, a power unto herself uh she's she's either happy or she's not happy and uh there's nothing we can do to influence that fact <laughs> i'm sure she's not going to be happy that we've played elden ring but she will be happy once we've we have finished playing elden ring so <laughs> never mind uh and yeah it's kind of almost kind of crazy because i've been waiting since february to play this game but because i've been dedicated to the stream uh and the producers and the, you know the channel i all my time goes into the, the stream as so i've had to talk about delayed gratification I've been wanting to play this game since the end of February. Uh, and here we are, halfway through November. Finally, we'll get to play it. Um, I've even had a few moments where I've been like, oh, should I just play it off stream? And I was like, no. No, let's not. It'll make such a great, better experience to have to do it live on stream as my very first look at it. Uh, so I've put it off and I've put it off. And now finally, it got a couple of votes from our producers. So... Uh, it, we are good to go on that i think i've already got it installed on the xbox um it, i understand that it can push the xbox one a little bit to its limit um so there might be i don't know if there's how bad like uh skipping frames are and i think that's a few and far between just on a I think my brother was saying just some of the excessive crazy boss fights um but i'm sure it should be fine to get through it um excellent well thank you squidge and i appreciate that <laughs> uh you know it'd be, it'd be worse if it was the other way around i hate you know these streams i don't hate it they can do what they want um but i know of you know successful streamers who their their viewership is is there for them to play their retro game that they're playing they just want to see that person play their retro games with skill and you know and speed and be like god look at this look at this game done really well by this very skillful gamer uh, you know i don't think there's any uh necessarily like uh community like we have here like d deep and meaningful conversations and that's fine that's what they want um but uh you know because everybody's different and everybody wants different things as a streamer and as a viewer um so it's but it's most gratifying to me squidge that you feel that way i'd hate it for the other, other way around if you guys were here and you're like oh i've got to listen to a ted talk before some video games happen i much prefer it if you were excited for the ted talk and then you're like oh okay i'm gonna lurk now is because the video game part's happening that is far more meaningful to me than the other imagine the other way around you're like shut up bro shut your face play the game we don't care what you have to say I, I don't know i'd feel like a bit of a dickhead i'd be like oh hello there I'm not gonna say anything because i know you don't want me to uh let's just play video games and i'll talk about that um so yeah i'm I'm, pl I'm pleased that you feel that way is what i'm getting at um 
Yeah, you couldn't get me warmed up. You died. My God. That's, should we have a death counter? That's what I should add to the stream. Uh, before we get into it. Set up a death counter. Uh, Speaking of talking to the devil. Poots. How you doing, Poots? Um, Poots, uh, I should put this to you. Uh, we are about to start a new game. Um, do you want to use your vote to... Because we've got a bit of... Technically, we've got a tiebreaker at the minute. I have kind of announced what of those two we're about to do. <laughs> but if you specifically wanted the other one of those two on the tiebreaker, and you were like, actually, no, we're not doing this, is we're doing this other game instead. That would be uh, your privilege, Poots. Um, or if you want to rack something else up, um, but it's entirely up to you. Um, but uh, how you doing, Poots? Are you well? Um, all right, yeah, look, here we go. Ryan's got all his emotes ready to uh, tear into me. <laughs> but how you doing, sir, Poots? Are you well? Um, yeah, say, yeah, we need a death counter so he can lols at me. Um, yeah, exactly. And this is what we do. I, that's, I'm excited about it, Squidge. Um, yeah, we, um, other games, Draco, we could have, uh, done, I could have done with a death counter. And I, uh, halfway through, I was like, oh, we should probably have had a death counter. Um, but I feel for the Souls games, it's baked into the, uh, gameplay that you, uh, die. Especially if you don't know the game, and especially Elden Ring, we're gonna need a death counter. So um, I'll, I'll get that set up in a minute. Um, yeah, that's the only problem, isn't it? Uh, C stars. If you get to a certain level of stream, uh, you, you the community disappears. You if you know you might if you get in early, like imagine if uh, we got a uh, thousand plus viewers. I might not know all those people. Oh, I guess we, <laughs> we're building gradually. We, I would. Um, but I'm always going to know you guys and say hello to you guys. But if you, uh, if I go to like, I don't know who is on Twitch right now. Who's got the most viewers? Someone. I don't know. Um, but if you go to someone who's got like a thousand plus viewers, and I just go in there, I'm like, hey there. It, one, probably no, the streamer and nobody else there is probably going to even notice that I exist. They might not even see my comment. Is anybody even going to talk to me? Can I, do I have any opportunity or a possibility of building a relationship with anybody else there in that chat, let alone the streamer themselves? Probably not. Probably not. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely, um, there's definitely something to be said for a community-driven stream. That's my only uh, strange juxtaposition. Obviously, I would like to have 1,000-plus viewers, but also... I'm not willing to compromise that community aspect. I do want to be attentive to all of you guys and engage all of you guys. Uh, so, uh, you know, those uh, two ideas seem counter uh, counter to each other, don't they? So I don't know how it's going to pan out, but we just keep going. We just keep going. Um, yeah, you just get lost in them. Yeah, I've, I, I've seen st st uh, some streams, chats fly by so quickly you can't even read anything so it's like why is it why are even these people even typing anything they just i guess they just feel like they want to be part of a, a thing it's like here's a thing that's happening this is the this is the place to be doesn't matter if nobody even knows i'm here i'm in the thick of it Woo! and they're just like <laughs> okay like cool completely different vibe to what you guys want out of uh, a stream obviously but <laughs> again we're not here to judge um I could have a prediction for total deaths. Oh my god, I don't even think about it. Uh, screw. We could maybe have a prediction per stream. I don't know. Um, yeah, have you played it, Poots? Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, we'll get that death count set up in a, a, a second. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to get to the point where I can't talk to you guys. Imagine if there's a thousand people here going, wah, 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 spamming all sorts of stuff, and then, like, a squidge comes in. Yo, how you doing today? And I just completely miss... I don't even know that squidge is here. Kind of defeats the point of the stream then, doesn't it? You know? Yeah, that's a, that is the thing. If we ever get to the point of world fame... You guys, your names, your personalities, your consciousness is ingrained within my heart and my soul. So, you know, you've already done the got in there early part. 
<laughs> so um i don't know we'll, we'll, one worry about it when it, if and when it happens to uh it just like a day at a time don't we so you can't plan for these things um um ah per boss prediction yes that could be interesting why um yeah and uh, you know and that's the way it goes eventually when you get start getting a lot of uh viewers you know our streamers will inevitably put in follower only chat and then when they get even more viewers they'll put it into sub only chat uh you know and i don't think that's you know of course you want the interaction there to be free for everybody but if it's a way to actually manage the amount of chat that is going to put out i don't see that being a bad thing but then again I'll, those of you here all of you here right now are very important to me and i would hate the the idea of you not being able to talk in chat because i've because you you know because you don't sub that would that would be a bit shitty wouldn't it um 20 hours in so 20 hours for most games is a while isn't it 20 hours for Elden ring is whatever how are you finding it poots it's just taking your time with it and enjoying it i don't uh, this thing even if we stream it every day for seven hours i don't want to rush it guys i'm gonna definitely take my time with it um you take care of the family ryan you've already you've already done enough of that bro i'm gonna yeah, let's move on from that i was ryan just i was getting emotional buddy um don't know where to go what to do yeah you get a bit discouraged um i like the mystery of them uh, so yeah i'll probably give you guys my background i have played dark souls one two and three uh pretty fairly extensively we'll put this i thousand g'd dark souls one twice for the 360 and xbox one version i've done the same for dark souls 2 and i've thousand g'd the uh dark souls 3 because obviously there wasn't a 360 version of that game um each time you thousand g a, a dark souls game you basically need to do two and a half playthroughs so anyone's not aware the souls games have new game plus get to the end you just immediately you start up a new game that's the game put you don't have to play it obviously but it, it, that's the gameplay mechanic of the game uh you carry over your levels uh you carry over all your equipment everything everything carries over and generally the the enemies in the world become a bit bit tougher and will give you a bit more xp um and it just can carries on ad infinitum i'm sure there's like weirdos who like do like you know new game plus 500 and or whatever just because they're like yeah that's that's what i'm into that's fine uh <laughs> um so yeah two and a half uh full playthroughs uh and also like probably a lot of grinding and stuff so i'm very i feel i'm very familiar with the, the dark souls trilogy probably the first two games more than um more than number three even though i feel number three is actually the best of the trilogy in my personal opinion um dark souls 2 is the weakest of the trilogy but i'm not a dark souls 2 hater there are people out there who say it's trash it's not it's really really good it's just the weakest of the trilogy you know we're talking about 100 99 98 it's still getting 98 out of 100 okay um the main th so uh so i'm not i'm not i'm i am not skilled at the souls games i'm really not i'm not, not saying that to be like be like self-deprecating or make you know try and impress you when we start playing the game i'm i'm not i i go sword and board uh, and i'm not clever dual wield i can't parry um so parrying in the game is if you time your a uh, weapon block at the exact moment that an enemy strikes you you can parry and you stun them and you get like, a free attack and it does loads of damage i just hold up my shield and just block it the damage because i'm terrible at the timing because uh, everyone doesn't know, the Souls games are designed so you die very, very easily. You know, you have to... You, every single enemy you come across, you have to uh, engage them cleverly. Um, not take, really take too many chances and kind of learn... Like, learn the enemy. How do they attack? How do they move? What works on them? What doesn't work on them? And you'll probably die a few times. And, you know, some enemies can kill you in a single hit uh 
you you know you're very uh, vulnerable that's how you progress through the games so i can complete the trilogy i can get through them not with finesse with uh with stubbornness and you guys know me i'm fairly you know i'm fairly bullheaded i will just i'm not going to give up um so yeah no skill but i'm good enough to get through the games um i've never played the original demon souls and obviously i've not played not having a ps5 i've not played the remake of demon souls that was the uh, anyone's not aware that's the progenitor of uh the dark Souls series that's the first one uh, before dark souls uh and of course most people have heard of bloodborne uh ps4 only game hence i've not played it uh a different kind of setting and take but it's still a souls game um uh, i understand it's uh it's like got guns in the game um like old school guns uh and also it's far more based on dodging and parrying and blocking is not really a thing and it's generally uh, a far more fast paced kind of combat system um so that's just to give you my background with the souls games i don't know how on earth that is going to prepare me going to elden ring um am i uh i guess it's not gonna hurt i'm gonna do better than going in that's the first game completely blind uh the main thing about elden ring um is essentially it's open world now the the other souls games are not um they're not linear they, they are in uh expansive environments where you can kind of um you know you get s secret passages and s all sorts of secrets sh short you can unlock shortcuts uh different it was all like interconnected and like loops back on itself and you're like oh where does this go oh it goes back here you know stuff like that um but it's not an open world in the sense that apparently Elden Ring is. Elden Ring is open world like Red Dead Redemption 2 is open world. I'm sure it's nowhere near as big as Red Dead Redemption 2. That would be insane. Um, obviously, things will be blocked off and locked off by getting certain items or defeating certain bosses and stuff like that. So uh, so that aspect of it, I, have, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. Um, the intention would be to take our time and try to explore everything now my brother who's completed it uh relatively recently he kind of took his time with it he didn't blast through it in a few weeks like a lot of people did he played it on and off for several months um and he comp you know he completed the you know beat the final boss he said that there's loads of stuff that he has missed in it uh there's loads of like npcs you talk to and they don't say anything you're like oh i guess i was supposed to do a quest for this person and now i failed it i <laughs> Um, and there's, there's uh, the overall vibe of the Souls games, which I assume has been maintained in Elden Ring, is it's very mysterious. The storytelling is done uh, through kind of the environment and item descriptions. Nothing really, you never really, nothing is really explained as to what is actually going on. I assume Elden Ring is very similar in that regard. Um, but the usual vibe is you're, uh, you're not the the chosen one you are a kind of a potential chosen one one of potentially hundreds or even thousands that have come before you and failed and usually your challenge your destiny is to go and uh defeat the lords of the realm and take their power back from them um to do something with it yourself uh one thing is there are law videos explaining the souls games or like what is going on and i'm sure clever people have added it all up and figured out but uh for me and this is definitely part of the appeal they, they much they very much feel like a fever dream um the the fact that you don't know what's going on you don't know the context of really anything is uh very much part of the appeal of the uh of the series for me and i'm hoping that they have maintained that and even doubled down on the the mystery and the darkness and the weirdness uh within elden ring also know that apparently uh george rr R. martin of uh a song of ice and fire fame game of thrones was uh you know hired to partake in the writing of the law and maybe like designing stuff in the world maybe enemies probably not like game mechanics i'm sure he's 
I doubt you don't think I doubt he plays video games. Um But um so that could definitely add an interesting flavour to it. Um so uh I think uh that's everything i wanted to kind of say about it i was going for running out of time to kind of really get into it today um well ryan you certainly don't have to do that but we i will um it could be possible ryan that we never actually need to put you know we could go over the isnib show for another 50 years and just kind of sit on like a 15 20 viewer average and that is fine with me if you you guys are still going to enjoy that like i could say it's not hopefully that's not going to um impact what we're doing here I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm kind of in a position now where I'm, I'm not like massively reliant you know I don't need the channel to make a profit to keep doing it obviously I hope it does because that kind of make, makes my life a little bit easier to say the least um but I should be able to keep going regardless so I you know we what I'm saying is the Isnib show goes on even if we don't get to ever, ever having like a thousand plus viewers, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. We, we still keep going. Um, beautiful, really fun to play and overall a great game. Well, coming from you, Poots, that is a, sounds like a resounding positive uh, re review there. Um, yeah, Akuma, it's like block and parry. So, Akuma, do you just like dodge? You just, you do like the dodgy guy. <laughs> you just run in there, shank, 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 dodge, shank, 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 dodge, which is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I, I struggle with parrying in Dark Souls games. Uh, I mean, if the, if the enemies all attack the same, you could get it down. But every different enemy kind of attacks differently. They have a different weapon. They have a different attack pattern. Um, they can kind of bait you so you think they're going to attack and they missed, you know, they faint and fake you out. Um... Uh, and even some enemies, they might just be too big and chonky where you can't parry their attacks. So I never really got into parrying in uh, in Dark Souls. If you can pull off a dodge, that's the best. Um, if you can't, block with your shield or your, or your weapon. A shield is better. Um, it really depends what you're fighting, what the best strategy is. Um, another thing to mention, a lot of people um, talk about builds. They oh, you're having a mage build? You're going to play a mage or you're going to play a... A quick uh, a deck is a dex build. Use a dex weapon, and then you roll around and shank, shank, shank. Oh, you're going for strength. You're on a big, big meaty sword, and you're going to wear heavy armor and do this and that. I, I don't do any of that. I don't have a build. I just do whatever. When you know when you know the way broadly, you will see it in all things. I uh, believe that. Now, does that help? Is that a good thing to do? I don't know. I've done it in every single playthrough of a Dark Souls game I've ever done, uh, and I'll get through it. You know. Uh, so if we get randos coming in here, being like, "Bruh, what's your build? Tell me about your build." You, uh, you girls, feel free to back me up or tell them yourself. I don't have a build, and if they have a problem with that, if they get salty or start nerding out, being like, eh, you know, I we will proverbially slap the shit out of them. Um, that's just how I like to play. Does it make things more difficult? I don't know. I don't care. It's, it, if it's going to be more fun, that's why I play. That's why I play video games. I don't play video games to jerk off. I'll do that in my own time, all right? And I'm certainly not a fan of people coming to somebody else's stream to jer jerk off. So watch out for those uh, little weird fanboys, those little uh, elitists. Just keep an eye on them. Uh, they don't like... Uh, they need to gang jump on them as they come in. It, that's a very, it's a valid question. If someone's like, hey, buddy, what, what build? And all my response is no build. See what their response to that is. You know, if they're like, oh, cool, haha, -ha, smiley face, that's that's fine. If they're like, bro, you suck, bro, I'll be like, come over here and fight me. They're like, oh, no, I'm the best fighter in the world in Elden Ring, but in real life, I'm I'm, I'm very weak. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I can tell, friend. Uh, <laughs> um, Yeah, poots, I'm very hyped. That's almost why I'm putting it off for a minute, just because I'm like, I hype myself up, we'll get right into it tomorrow. Um... Uh interesting sea star. I'd probably never noticed that. I'd have no rhythm, so that's probably also got it. Um Yeah, exactly. There's no I think uh in like one of the uh in the first Dark Souls it's something like uh 
Is it the demons or the gods? Oh, it's like, I don't know. There's, uh, back in the, uh, in the olden days, the dragons fought the, uh, the, uh, men and then, or whoever, and then it was, it, then it went bad. And then, and then, uh, some guy, he had, uh, the power and then he had the first flame and then he did this and then it's been dark ever since. And you're like, what are you... <laughs> You know, what, what kind of history is this? What are you talking about? This means nothing. And it doesn't. And it's fine. It's that's Lean into it. Um, anyway, Seastar. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't get to say goodbye. You've already gone now, I'm sure. Um, but we do definitely have a great evening. Um, interesting. Fair enough, Poots. Um, this was my real day. Build of no build. I might even just put in the title just so people are, you know, at least, uh, you know, because I'm not here to judge if people, if that's important to people. But, like, if you've got to, like, look up a guide and you're like, oh, do this, do this to Mac min max this. It's like, well, what, why are we even playing the game now? I want it. To, it's more important for me that a game is an experience. And the best experience is the one of going in blind. Um... Yeah, because I, you know, I, you know, I don't want to be like a full blown mage, because then you're squishy. I want to wear armor and have a shield, right? And maybe I'll have like a, you know, a fairly decent sword or whatever, a spear. I don't know. We'll see what's in the game. I don't know what's in the game. Um, but I like having uh, putting a few points into having like some basic magic spells, so it gives you an extra tool. I'd ra rather having like one murderous weapon. I prefer to have, you know, a toolkit. I have a little toolkit. Now, you know, I might not be able to murder a dragon with any one of these tools, but I can do all sorts of different things. I might be able to f fudge my way through it. Not to everyone's taste. Every Some people are like, do the dex build, do the strength build, or be a mage. If you deviate from any one of those three directions, you're some kind of gigantic noob. And to that, all I can say is, fuck off. Uh, sorry, I'm getting very, very sweary recently. I do apologize for that. Uh, but you, you see what I'm saying? So, like I say, if anyone... I will definitely absolutely have the casual playthrough tag. The, uh... I think they're already on there, anyway. No spoilers tag. And also the, um... First playthrough tag. Which I think they're all on. First playthrough, no spoilers. Casual. Okay, they're already on already. So, if anyone's got, you know... So, if, you know, a fair warning. We'll just watch out for them. Um... Yeah, people come in and you're playing it wrong. That's the worst switch. It's like... That is not possible. I'll be like, you're, you're being a Twitch viewer wrong. And that is that is definitely possible, okay? <laughs> you're playing it wrong. I'll just be like, well, you know, your mum wasn't complaining when I was playing it with her. <laughs> she didn't have a problem. Anyway, I don't want to start... I don't want to get aggro at people, but... I just wanted you guys to be aware that I've, I've just heard for this game in particular... And, and Souls games in general. There are a lot, like, super elitist nerds out there who are, um, you know... You know, I'm sure there's a lot of fans who are, like, very just cool, very into the game, and they'd love to see somebody new play it for the first time. But just watch out for these people. I'm, I've, I've got zero tolerance for it. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know, see stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, no, when I say drunk up, I don't mean like actually massive. It's just like kind of, uh, you know, be like, there. there's a lot of people in this world who are desperate for attention. And that, no, I don't mean the way that we all want attention. For fuck's sake, I'm, I'm streaming live on Twitch right now. Uh, you know, we all like to have friends. We all like to be recognized, seen, uh, appreciated, spoken to, listened to. I don't mean that which we all have and it's all perfectly understandable and we all should have that but to uh demand attention you should pay attention to me because of my knowledge or experience and god damn it you know less than me do you know it's like you don't get to do that you don't get to be that person not around here um 100%, 100% squid. Yeah, I'll, I might even tonight look up a beginner's guide to Elden Ring. No, a, a spoiler-free beginner's guide. Like, what should I do? Which is the thing I should look out for? 
Is there like a particular stat that's not worth putting points in? Something like that. Um, yeah, starting ideas, Poots. Yeah, there we go. A poots are right. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> a samurai, but far pootsier. It would, I mean, let's be fair. Poots are right. Superior to just a regular samurai. Uh, you know, 100%. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll ask, Poots. It's like, if I'm ever unsure about life, I'd be like, stop. And, you know, of course, uh, the classic one is, the, you know, if you're, um, yeah, if you're maybe religious or, um, you know, of just like uh, maybe a vague spiritual nature, uh, people be like, oh, what would Jesus do? I will, I will change that and I'll say, ask myself, what would Poots do? And I'll try that. And then if it goes all wrong, I can I can blame you, Poots. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Yeah, and if you're going for 100% C-Star, you, you need a guide. Oh, we looked things up when we were playing Red Dead 2. Um, and we didn't even 100% it. Uh, that's that's not a problem. I think... Um, and like my, like I said, when my brother doing his playthrough, he missed quests. He he miss he, he said there was like these bosses he couldn't even find in the game, you know, because of looking things up like seeing people's playthroughs or videos of the game. He's like, oh, what's the, what boss is that? I never found that boss, and he's sure that he's been everywhere, but obviously he hasn't, has he? So that that level of mystery, I do want to try and preserve that. So if we get to the end of our playthrough and there's just bosses we've missed, then that's fine because that's how naturally we progressed the game and we missed things so we're not gonna worry about it um um i don't know squidge when we were playing red dead that said what uh oh oh right they're not playing the game right i, I don't remember i remember that some guy came in and was like yo bro if you're gonna kill in spree right now and kill 20 people i'll give you like 100 dollars." and i was like no because <laughs> one you're probably full of shit and two even if you, you're serious i'm not here i'm not your performing seal bro if you like what you see support if you don't go away you know i'm not, I'm not here to perform for you i mean to perform perform for myself and if anyone else likes that that's cool um yeah look you know even mums need love as well you know uh even even that that super nerd that little troll his mum, you know, she's obviously struggling. She needs someone to, you know, she needs someone to listen to her woes because she, look who her kid is, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I try to keep it family friendly when I start this channel, and now, uh, now we just go middle of the road. Um, yes, WWPD. What would Poots do? Oh, yeah, indeed. Um, Oh, actually, now you mention it, Squidge. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, someone might have. Yeah, a, a couple of people might have been like, "Hey, you know, like where, where you're at, what you're doing." And I'm like, "Hey, we're at this part." And then they're like, "You should go and do this." And it's like, "Well, I wasn't planning on going doing that, but you should do that." Well, you should go do that. <laughs> I should do whatever I want to do. That's what I should do. <laughs> Yeah, people can be rubbish, Squidge, can't they? Um, but they can also be freaking amazing, like you guys. Go, stop for a minute. Stop looking at me for a minute. Look around, uh, you know, turn your camera around on your phone or look in a mirror and be like, God damn, I thought I knew Is was pretty amazing, but that person right there got, got a little, uh, you know, a couple of points up on Is. Um, um, yeah, I mean, because I was thinking, I always give people the benefit of the doubt, Red Mage. Um... You know, it's like when we had that absolute dickhead coming when we were playing Final Fantasy X-2, and he's like, this, this, this game is for girls, and if you're playing it, you're gay. If you're a man playing this game, you're gay. And I'm like, so, you know, if I, you know what, what I want to stuff in my face, bro, and what I want to nosh on, there's nothing to do with you. Why are you even using, <laughs> like, some of the sexuality as a, a, a thing in 2022? But I was, you know, but even then I'm like, I'm like, bro, what do you mean this game is gay? How can a video game be homosexual? Please explain yourself. Now, I knew what he meant, and I should have just torn into him, maybe. But I'm like, clearly no one in your life is listening to you. Clearly you've got some personal issues. Maybe 
even if I can't fix you, I can put a little seed of doubt into your, like, broken brain. So, you go ahead, ask yourself that question. What do you mean? This game's gay. It's for gay people and girls. What? Sort your life out, bro. You know, give them a second. Obviously, it can soon boil over. Where I'm like, actually, let's yeet him into the sun. Um, yeah, they will. They will, uh, Red Mage. And we will be ready for them. I will... I will, st I will stomp them. I said, I'm not... I'm not i'm not using like I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not chatting shit you know i expect you know don't say something online on social media in a twitch chat that you wouldn't say to somebody's face if you were stood next to them in real life and you're like eyeball to eyeball to them if you can't do if you can't say that in under that scenario in that circumstances you should not be saying it anywhere ever under any circumstances ever okay most that's not most people in this world certainly the internets they you know a lot of people use not just um the anonymity but even if you know the, the defense mechanism they're like oh well i can say what i want because there's no repercussions because uh, i'm i'm a keyboard warrior that's not me so if you ever guys ever feel i'm um saying something that sounds a bit too cocky know that i truly would be willing to back up i might get my ass kicked i'm not a martial artist not really you know even if I've in my in my brain, I like to think I might be. Not really, and I'm not looking for trouble, but I um I'll, st I'll stand by whatever I say. This I wish I literally wish we had teleportation already. Haters would have fucking calmed the fuck down. Trust me, guys. Little bitches and trolls would practically not exist anymore if you could be like, oh, you got a problem with me? Ding! Here we are, right in front of each other. Right in front of each other. They're like, oh, uh, uh, no, leave me alone, scary man. I'm not, I'm not i'm not even that scary you you've never seen scary little kid have you so shut up sit down do what your mum tells you anyway <laughs> sorry i've been a bit ranty the past little while you know I, and my I, I i do believe um teleportation technology is not without is not outside the realm of uh physics but we may never live to see that technology implemented in a commercial sense where we could actually do that because then the, the twitch stream imagine what twitch stream would be. it wouldn't be a stream you guys could just teleport into my house maybe we need a different house or a different <laughs> area or something um and we just still be hanging out um your clone walks out yeah that, yeah that's <laughs> that's the problem isn't it that's the clone's point of view they they've just got all your memories haven't they so not for them they are you but for you, you, the you, 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 you just died. <laughs> That'd be a problem, wouldn't it, Squeeze? We'd, we'd have to, uh, we'd have to check it. Um, yeah, exactly, Red Mage. Come around, you're gonna find out. But uh, do you want to find out? I oh, come around. Uh, <laughs> um, so we should see. So I think I said everything I needed to. We won't obviously. We don't have time to get into Elden Ring today, but we shall start it first thing tomorrow. Will be our very first stream of it. Um. Can we, uh, uh, can we, uh, set up a death counter? Uh, I guess we'll need it on the game screen. What do I, what do we, um, what do I use as a death counter? Do I just use like a, do I just add, um, just a text box and just change the text as we go along? I guess I'd probably do, right? Um, there you go, like this. We just do something like that. I guess we want to... Uh, change the size? Change the form? Yeah, it's a bit smaller than that. <laughs> yeah, you reckon, you reckon Squid? <laughs> Which, oh, I don't, I don't think it was big enough. Oh no, of course I can change the uh, I can change the size just by dragging out. There we go. Now that's how that's how big we actually want it, right? Just pl stick it right in the screen. Be like death zero. I'm late, bro. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I guess that works. I just wondered if there was something uh, a bit easier, so we could just uh, you know stick that uh, down there or something. I don't know wherever. 
and have that on screen. I, you just guys need to remember to remind me every single time I die, which won't be a problem to start with because I'll take it slow. But if we're like stuck on a boss and I die like twenty times, just remind me every single attempt to update that. Um, there we go. Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. And in fact, we don't even uh, we don't even need it there. In fact, uh, I can actually remove that because we just need it on the game screen, don't we? We don't need it on the chatting screen. Okay, well, I found out how to do it. Um, I'm going to remove. Uh, know, let's jump over for a second. We'll set this up. Oh, there we go. Ally. Sorry. I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'll just, yeah, we'll just add it on here while we've got a second. Um, here we go. Text. Uh, Elden Deaths. There we go. That's what we'll call it. Not, e not Edlin Deaths. It's Elden. There we go. Um,. Uh, death count. There we are. Oh, that works right. There we go. We just, I don't know where we want it on the screen, but I guess we'll. Uh, I'll stick it. I'll, I'll stick it there for now. We'll sort that. We'll, oh my god. <laughs> uh, of course, the cams died. We'll sort all that out tomorrow. Let's go back here for a minute while we wrap up. Um, welcome back, Vibes. <clears throat> What's this death in your face? What? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Red Mage. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's right. We It works. It works in you face. Either, either way, buddy. It works. Anyway, uh, welcome back, Vibes. <laughs> We're just wrapping up. Um, what shall I... Um... Okay, I won't change the category there. I think we're all set up. Um... I guess I can have maybe look at it. I don't want any spoilers, but I could look up a uh, beginner's guide. But I feel like the gameplay and the leveling systems is going to be identical to Dark Souls anyway. So yeah, of course, as I uh, mentioned, we will do this tomorrow and potentially at least the next two weeks. I'll give you that as a guarantee. The next two weeks. Maybe a third week. We'll play it by ear. But we will keep Elden Ring going at least one, after that, at least one stream per week until I feel I'm done with a single playthrough. Which obviously means getting, at least getting to and defeating the the final story boss, whatever that means. I don't know who that is. I'm kind of scared. Um, but we'll manage. Um, excellent Red Mage. Good, that's what we're here for. We're here to provide the, uh, the lols. Um, but yes, thank you very much. Let's do the let's, let's tidy up the stream. So yes, uh, Yogitos, uh, Marcus Ruckus, and Billy Michaels. Thank you very much for the follows there, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, and also thank you very much to Ryan, dropping a, a gift sub to Draco. Bless you, Ryan. Um, we should uh, just I'll just raid us out, and we're back tomorrow. Let me see who's around. Oh, it was Thursday today. I was like, hang on a minute. If, if we, so if we raided, we raided, uh, we had Fallen, Sleuth, Metapod, and G-Ray this week so far. Uh, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, no, hang on. Sh hush you. I don't know who you are. Um, oh. You can sort, sort channels recommended for you. Or, uh, or view account. Okay. That's, I mean, so used to be your view account. Um, uh, it was around. Okay, Barrel is there. It's been a while. I did want to raid Barrel at some point soon. Uh, that's Slight. I feel like I should always uh, drop a raid on Slight. I just want to... So, Barrel is playing Final Fantasy VII. Now, which version is he playing? If he's playing... um, If he's playing the... Okay, let's just get through this ad quickly. I just want to see which version. If he's playing... um, Right, yeah, Day 1. It's not saying. If he's playing uh, the uh, new Final Fantasy VII, we will not raid him because I don't really... I know it's, I know the story, but I don't want spoilers for it. Does that make sense? If he's playing OG Final Fantasy VII, we'll raid Barrel. If not, I'll... Uh, I guess we'll just go see uh, Slight. Sorry, just guess we'll just go see him. <laughs> Sound like an asshole. Um, oh, hell. Barrel is playing OG Final Fantasy VII. It's the first day. He must have played it before. He must know Final Fantasy... He must have played Final Fantasy VII before, right? Yeah, he's not got a first playthrough. That doesn't mean anything, does it? 
Okay, let's go see Barrel. Uh, he's a gem. Dang, original Final Fantasy Seven. Oh my God, impressed Barrel. Doesn't take much to impress me though, does it? Um, yeah, he's on like the first first part of it. Now I know you've probably got Ghost Squidge. I know. You watch it. Uh, it's OG. You, you're watching his stream. Excellent. I'm glad to. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Barrel. Um, Poots, absolute joy to have you, sir. Uh, Poots, you've still got that vote uh, of your uh, assistant producership. And we've also got raffle tickets you can uh, buy, Poots, to get the privileges for free, potentially. Uh, open to everyone, including current producers. Um, so uh, if you want to use your channel points on that, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but you've also got that vote if you want to use it but of course if we're starting Elden Ring tomorrow that will get us tied up for the the next little bit next couple of weeks guys thank you so much for being here you're all absolute gems um i'm very much looking forward to tomorrow when we start Elden Ring uh hope to see you there at least for the chat at the beginning if it's not your vibe um well thank you Squidge. i appreciate that um if anyone needs me between now and tomorrow you can just message me on discord and i shall reply at some point soon um for now let's uh let's go see explosive barrel yeah hang around if you don't know barrel hang around he's adam he's an absolute freaking gem bloody love him and a, a fantastic artist to boot for some og final fantasy 7 uh i'll see you soon guys take care of yourselves